Everybody, welcome back to the live stream. I hope everybody's having a very pleasant Tuesday evening. It is Team Break Tuesday, and we're back once again with our Team Breaks, and we are going to get started with Museum Collection tonight. So, Museum Collection is sold out. If you'd like to get a spot in any of the other rounds, all of them are still open except for the discount round, which will be coming up. And I'll let you know what we have left available. I have that handy whiteboard that I always write how many spots are left on. Well, we can do that again for you so you know what's coming. It also gives you a little idea of the order that we're going to go in. So museum collection. By the way, we still have these jack packs. I'll still sell those if you guys want to get some jack packs. They're $2.35 a piece. I think we had at least one or two people ask, can you sell me a jacks pack? We can. I'll just go in order. We'll pick up from box 18 and go through until they're all sold. So those are still available tonight. Put those down here on the floor off to the side. And we'll go ahead and work the whiteboard in and show you what we have available. It looks like we're going to have Bowman Draft going tonight. Break J3. That's pretty much almost sold. Just a couple spots left there. Looks like some Chrome Black, some Heritage High Number. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, man, where did my, I used to have, I guess this will work, I had all these Expo Dry Erase Markers in here, and I, I don't see many of them at all. All right, so X8, it's sold out. That's Museum Collection. We're going to start right there. D3, it's a discount round. That is sold out as well. That'll be coming up. And uh, HH1, HH1, that's Heritage High number one. That one has eight spots left, so that'll likely be going tonight. And then the next closest one, we got Mix 1, or sorry, M1. That's Bowman Chrome Megas, and that one has 10 spots left, so we might be doing some Bowman Chrome Megas tonight. It's Big and Life says, I'm asking about an Eric Jabs autograph card. You have those autograph cards that people, or somebody sent in, 56 design. That was pretty awesome. Um, I, man, I should see if I can order a bunch of those from him and just put them in. I was going to do something like that with Patreon and try to get a custom card made from Tops, but their custom page is down, and it's been down for some time. Mix 3 has 19. That's the closest of the mixers. And then we have Pick Your Teams, which are close. So from the Pick Your Team round, if you like Chrome Black, it's Chrome Black 4. There's just a few teams left. We have Colorado for 35. We've got the Chicago White Sox at 40. We've got the Miami Marlins at 60. Lots of Miami Marlins autographs in this. Then we got Tampa Bay at 30, and we've got Washington. It's the last team. There's only five teams left, so it's, what, five-sixth sold out. That's 83% sold out, so that one will go tonight. Washington's 35. We also have J3. That is the Bowman, or not Bowman Super, the Bowman Jumbo round that has the Arizona Diamondbacks left at 75, the Chicago White Sox left at 80 bucks. We've got the New York Mets left at 90, the Philadelphia Phillies are left. By the way, Bowman Draft just keeps going up and up. I was talking to my case guy today. I met with him. He stopped by and picked up a check for Bowman's Best, and he said, "Can you believe what's going on with Bowman Draft? It is just flying uh, up and up." He said that the HGA Choice boxes are like 700 a piece now. And I was like, "Geez, that's." That's that's crazy. I think those, I think those, HT choices were terrible. You saw what we had in the preview video, just all crap. I think the the jumbo box is a way to go. Colorado and this is HH three, which is Heritage, Heritage High number. We got Colorado at twenty five. They're still left. Miami Marlins at twenty five. We've got Tampa Bay at twenty five, and Toronto at twenty five. So that one's just about sold out. Only four teams left. So we'll be getting through most of these rounds tonight. Let's go ahead and get started. If you'd like to grab some spots, you can. We'll get started with Museum Collection and rip these open. Six boxes, a half case of Museum Collection. And uh, I don't even have to randomize the spots for this, which will save some time. Since this break went on sale last week, I think it went on sale on Wednesday. Maybe you forgot if you bought into it or not, so I'll refresh your memory. Here's the teams that everybody has. We have Daniel Tazi with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We've got Ron Roberts, who has the Atlanta Braves. Daniel Tazi also has Baltimore. Matt Durfee with the Boston Red Sox. Vito has Chicago. Ron Roberts with Cincinnati. By the way, the Giants just went in the J3 round. We'll take those off the board here in a second. George has Cleveland. Jacob LeWallen has Colorado. Looks like Arizona just went in the Pick Your Team round in J3, so we'll update that as we go. George Warner has Houston. Bernard with Kansas City. Nicholas Vitale has the Angels. Bernard has the Dodgers. 
We have Michael Gunter with Miami Marlins, George Weiner with the Milwaukee Brewers, Donald Atkinson with the Minnesota Twins, Nick Vitale as the Mets, Dan Tazia as the New York Yankees. We've got Carson Goodwin with, with Oakland, Nicholas Vitale with Philadelphia, Donald Atkinson has the Pittsburgh Pirates and the San Diego Padres, John Mayer has the Seattle Mariners, Jack Collin with the San Francisco Giants. By the way, we still have those Jack Packs left, at least a few of them. Donald Atkinson has St. Louis. Jack also has Tampa Bay. Daniel Tossi has Texas. Nicholas Vitale has Toronto. And Jack also has the Nationals. So shout out to Jack for buying out the last three teams there in this round. So are we ready? I hope you are. Jo uh, Joe says, I sent money for San Fran. I think maybe two people may have sent it at the same time. Let's see who got it first. We have... Um, I know Dennis O sent in for San Francisco for this, but it was already sold out. So unfortunately, we can't get that. Can't get you in there. So you can have a refund or I could put you elsewhere. And then we had a bunch of folks grabbing spots. Ron Roberts, unfortunately, you just missed it. Troy Fowler grabbed it before you. J3, San Francisco. Troy Fowler's got that one. So Ron Roberts, if you want to move to another round with that money, we can do that or keep it as a credit or I can hit the refund button. We'll get Troy put in there. Michael Gunther just grabbed a Jack's Pack. Jack's Pack, Michael Gunther. So we will go ahead and do a Jack's Pack for Michael Gunther. Get your name put on one of these. We'll open it up after this round. So, Michael, thank you very much. Your name's on that. I'll put it off the side so I don't forget. And Keith Gidry just grabbed the Arizona Diamondbacks for 75 bucks in the J3 Bowman draft. So we just got to get Ron Roberts a home for that Giants payment. So, Ron, thank you very much. Can you bring me the garbage can? I think it's right. I forgot it. All right, so we're ready to get started. Just need my handy-dandy box cutter did some cleaning in the room today and i found a red one this red one hasn't been seen for months on the channel thank you so let's see what we can find in this first box museum collection time i also realized that i think i might need a holding box for these my 5,000 count box Got to have somewhere to put all these. Let me go grab that real quick so that we have a home for all your cards. And I'll be right back. We'll start ripping museum collection in a second. All right, got two 30, 200 count boxes. Keep all these cards safe and sound. Get them all sorted out over the next few days. And here we go. Break X8. Good luck to everybody in this break. Museum collection getting us started. This pack feels exceedingly light. I wonder why. This is, oh, there's, there's your reason. It is a redemption pack. That could be good news. Let's see what we have. A redemption here. It is going to be, wow, Adley Rushman, the very first hit. Very first pack. We start off with the bang. Adley Rushman, arguably the best rookie in 2023. And this one's going to go to Daniel Tazi. Right off the bat, it's Tazi time. And Carlos Crea to 150. We'll get that sleeved up as well. How about that? The Baltimore Orioles, always a good team to have in 2023 products with your Adley Rushman's. And your Gunnar Hendersons, people love them. And Daniel Tazi, who is an, an Orioles fan to begin with, with some good luck right there. Here's the next one, hitting every single box. Brandon Woodruff, numbered to 35, is hit number two. The Woodruff is going to go to George Weinert. So, George, congratulations on that one. Let's see what we have in box number three of this mini box. We got a relic. We got an autograph. We'll do a quad relic or a relic auto in this next pack. Austin Riley gets it started. There's Luisa Rise, and there's the autograph. Chris Randall's going to love this one. It's a triple relic auto of Christopher Morell. Nice rookie with the Cubs, numbered to 199. Who's got the Cubs? It's Vito Gargano taking him in this one. Vito, congratulations. You've got a nice rookie right there. Triple relic. And this last one will be a quad relic. It should be. Chris says, darn it. Yeah, Chris, weren't you thinking about buying the Cubs for this round? And you sat it out. 
And you just never know when they're going to hit. A-Rod is up next. Alex Rodriguez with his 697 home runs. That's numbered out of 25. Quad Relic. We also have Adley Rushman in there as well. Adley Rushman for Daniel Tossi in the next one. So a pretty darn good box to start it off for Museum Collection. Adley Rushman in there. Christopher Morell Auto. Two nice rookie autos and an A-Rod Relic. The Brandon Woodruff. Eh, you know, he's a nice pitcher and all, but his cards just aren't worth crazy amounts of money. On to box number two we go. Let's see what we can find in this one. This one feels a little thicker. Dodgers might even sign Santa Claus this offseason, says Julio. Now that he has some downtime, yeah, Dodgers are signing everybody. They just have, seems like they have unlimited funds. It's just, it's crazy. I, a lot of people were thinking maybe the, the Dodgers aren't going to be that good this year. But, well, that's no thinking. No, no one's thinking that anymore. Another A Rod out of thirty-five. This time he's in his Texas Rangers uniform. So this one's going to go to Daniel Tazi, number to thirty-five, and Tom Seaver there as well. A Rod signing that record-setting deal back in what was that? It was four with Texas. I think he played there for like three years, opted out, and then went to, to New York for a bigger deal in 07. At the time, I think it was like two hundred seventy-five million. It was the biggest at that time. Still one of the top. Biggest contracts ever. I think it's in, still in the top 15. Here we go with this next one. Julio says, ticket prices will be insane this year. Yeah, the secondary market, if you're buying off of StubHub, man, it's, you're going to be paying a pretty penny. And another one for Daniel Tazi. Jo it's going to be a Josh Young number to $3.99. Beautiful card right there. Dual Relic Auto. And here we go with our next one. The Dodger dogs are going to be $100 each, says KC. The White Sox Tom says the Dodgers will still have no pitching come playoff time, like always. Or they'll have good pitchers like Kershaw that just can't get it done. And look at this. Man, what a great card this one is. Look at this. Shohei Otani. Mike Trout. And then we have two Hall of Famers, Nolan Ryan and Rod Crew, number to 99. This is fantastic. For the Los Angeles Angels, Nicholas Vitale. A really great card right here. Nolan Ryan, Rod Carew, and I'll tell you what, I think Otani and Trout, when it's all said and done, as long as Otani doesn't blow out his arm and just never play again over the next couple years, he's on that Hall of Fame track. Some people would argue he might already be worthy with his 10 war seasons that he puts up. <laughs> Crazy stuff from Otani. That, you're probably going to have four Hall of Famers on this card when it's all said and done. And another A-Rod, Daniel Tazi, with another hit. I love that. Angels quad relic right there. Nicholas Vitale gets it. Mike says, did I miss out on this break I put in for Tampa? Yeah, Tampa was already picked by Jack Holland. Jack picked up the last three to sell off the break. So I put a little note there. You have $45 credit or I can give you a refund. It's up to you. Or you can apply that to a Jack's pack or something and knock $45 off of a Jack's pack. We do have those left if anyone wants to try those. Michael Gunther just grabbed one. And there's Raleigh Fingers. Man, Museum Collection is bringing it. Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers, number to 25. This one's going to be for Carson Goodman. So, Carson, congratulations on that one. And Zach Granke's in there, number to 299. Next one up. Russ has got my World Baseball Classic box today. Got a Soto Auto out of 10. Fantastic. That's fantastic. We're giving away a Juan Soto Auto tonight if we sell out enough rounds. I think I said if we sell out six or seven. I'll have to look at the listing. Got a gold Soto Autograph that we'll give away. Josh says, me and my dad just pulled a 5 of 5 Shohei Otani from Topps Chrome Update. Jeez. I am jealous. That's that's a fantastic pull. And there's another fantastic pull. Hall of Famer Jim Rice. Joe says, can I make this move? Joe, let me know what you're talking about. And uh, let's be a little more specific about it. Dennis, oh yeah, Dennis, we can move you if you'd like to. There's Jim Rice number two, 199. I think you just missed out on that um who'd you put in for let me go back and double check dennis o dennis o where's dennis o somewhere around here oh there you are san francisco x8 yeah we could put you somewhere else because jack holland sold out everything it, he grabbed the last few teams so we can move you elsewhere if you want me to move you you just gotta let me know if i don't see you the first time just say it again so you have $45 credit for Dennis Octorbeck. Did I order any World Baseball Classic boxes? I did not. With those gone, totally, I didn't even realize. 
All right, here we go with our next one. Let me see. It looks like I just got a message via PayPal with the one cent. All right. Troy Fowler just sent in for M1. That's Bowman Chrome Megas. That one's about ready to go. Only nine spots left now in that one. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Ron Roberts says, are the Mets still available in J3? They are. Yep, yeah, the Mets still are available in J3. Let's see what we've got in this one. It's Clemens. Some nice names in this one. Top Chart says, what, was I able to move into Mix 1? Just let me know where you're moving from and where you're moving to. We can do that. Just got to put it all out there. Roger Clemens, New York Yankees hit right there. We've got some breaking Wander Franca news from Steve. Says, did you see that the Dominican Republic Prosecutor's Office authorized two raids of Wander's houses? His and his mother's looking for Wander, and he's nowhere to be found? Whoa, that is uh, Wander going off the grid. He's on the run? No, that's, that, uh, that's not a good sign. You can't just disappear like that. Holy cow. That's uh, that's that's not good. If they're raiding his house, that's not good. There's Dale Murphy, another big name. Numbered to 50. Very, very nice. Dale Murphy for Atlanta. That's for Dennis O. So, Dennis, you got one right there. And Tim Anderson out of 150. Yeah, if you're, if you're hanging on to a shred of hope about Wander Franco, which, I mean, everyone's innocent until proven guilty, but, I mean, that doesn't make you feel that great. Talk to us is out of 2X... And the Saturday spot. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Do you have a credit or something? Uh, two HH1s. You are an HH1. Yep, you're already in there. Yeah, so you're you're in there. In Heritage High Number HH1. I see you're on the list at spot number five and six. We have Corbin Burns. There's four relics numbered to 99 right there. And let's see what we have in this next one coming up. Box number three. I prefer that people don't move once we get started, unless it's like like you've sent in for a team and your spot was already filled. I mean, we can do that. There's Ron Roberts taking J3. He says, look around for the rest. Hey, let me know what you want for the rest. I think you have, you have what, like $100 left or something like that. Just let me know. 90 bucks taken off of that. And uh, do you just want me to plug you in elsewhere? I, I mean, I can give you the white socks in J3 if you wanted them. But I've got you in there now, Ron, so thank you very much. Dwight Sox Tom says, Wander was last seen in a white Bronco. An O.J. Simpson reference right there. I remember that. 1995, right? I remember watching that. I feel like we were watching that. I feel like my teachers were watching that in uh, in the classroom when I was in middle school. Like the whole O.J. thing. David says, I'm not seeing my name in D3 and HH1. David Ortega. Let me take a look at it. David Ortega. Hmm, let's see. It just, as just rule of thumb, always double check. I always put up multiple, multiple postings with these with these lists. I did see that you paid way back on, okay, I see it, David Ortega. Maybe, I don't know why that didn't come come up. So what I'll do is, I'll, if it's okay with you, I'll give you HH1, David Ortega, and I'll give you a second in HH1. So that's like giving you like an extra whatever... Um, Instead of $19, it's like giving you an extra 15 bucks. So two spots in HH1 because D3 is all sold out, if that's okay with you. Sorry that we missed that. Yeah, back on the 20th. That was like a good week ago. I wonder if what happened that I missed that. Levin Bass says, hey, Jabs, thanks for the quality content. Makes the makes having COVID a little more bearable. I've had it since Friday and tested positive again today. Dan Schultz wants my credit plus 10 for J3. J3 sold out. Um, that was already grabbed. J3, Troy Fowler just grabbed that one, Dan. So you've got $10 more credit added in there right now, Dan Schultz. So if you'd like to move elsewhere, we here's what we have left available. I'll update it after this one. Just make sure you're not on a delay because I try to read them off as the payments come in. We have Brett Beatty, number 250 right there, and Masataki Yoshida. So the Mets get a hit. Here's what we have left, just since payments are coming in. Left and right, we have, for J3, there is only the White Sox left at 80, and the Philadelphia Phillies left. That's it for J3. That's Bowman Draft. Chris says, can't wait for D3. Hoping HH3 and CB4 
will sell out to, uh, yeah, even if they don't sell it, we'll still run it. And for Chrome Black 4, we have those five teams are all still available. So G3 is just about sold out. And over here, we still have those four teams available. So just have the White Sox and Philadelphia Phillies left. All right, here we go with this next one. Top Taurus is two HH tonight and the leftover at Bowman Jumbo Spot on Saturday. Do we miss you for a spot on Saturday? You're actually still in the Saturday showdown. Didn't I say that um didn't I say that, that stays and just it gets run next week? Let's see here. Yeah, you're still you're still in the you're still saved. You and Robert Knight are still in there. So Kyle Tucker out of 25 and Michael Harris. So we saved your your name right here, Top Charger Chick. See how your name's not like read it out. I'm, I'm gonna be deleting these in the next spreadsheet, but you and uh Robert are still in. It'll go this coming Saturday in the Saturday showdown. We have your heritage high number spots tonight. Here we go with this next one. Ezekiel Tovar. Next hit, it's gonna be another Corbin Burns, our second Corbin Burns hit. This one's number two, 399, and Ezekiel Tovar number to 399 is in there as well. Our next one up, two museum collection boxes left. Let's see what we can find. We've got Nolan Arenado, number 275. That is a quad relic. Nice quad relic right there for the St. Louis Cardinals. Taking that one. Next one up. This is box number five. It's a half case of museum collection. We also have a Jack's pack we're going to do after this round. It was picked up by Michael Gunther. Let's see what we can do. And this one, yeah, it would be nice. Big Matt cards. We pulled a McGuire autograph last night out of a Jack pack. There's some nice stuff in there. Here's this next one. By the way, we'll just go in the order that they come up. So the uh, next box will be 21. So that way I, you know that I'm not just giving you a box with a bonus if it's somebody I like. I'm just going to stick in the sequential order of the ones that weren't sold. There's Fred Lynn number 220 right there. Another Red Sox hit and Ronald Acuna Jr. in there as well. Next one up for Museum Collection. Let's see what we've got. We have a Jordan Alvarez, number 25, for Houston. White Sox Tom says, did they forget about Triple Threads? I don't think Triple Threads was on the list of the cards that were being chopped. Now that you mention it, Triple Threads typically comes out near the end of September. And where's it been? Yeah, we haven't opened it yet. Chris says, I got my Sandberg in the mail for me today. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully a lot of people getting their stuff in. Still have a lot more to ship, but we'll get to it. Um, hopefully the next couple days, Jose Ramirez is the next one. Cleveland Guardians get their hit. This one's numbered to 199. The Cleveland Guardians were picked up by George Weinert in this round, and there's Oscar Colos in there as well. This is box number four. Mini box number four. Tony says, did you get my Patreon subscription? If you signed up and you paid, we should have got it. We'll be sending those out probably this weekend. Let's see what we've got in this next one. Nick Prada right there. Dennis O says, move my 45 to Tampa Bay and Toronto and HH3. All right, we can do that for you right now. Nick Prado is the next hit. So it is, you had a credit and you're taking Tampa Bay and Toronto. Thank you very much, HH3. Dennis... We got you. All right, so we can cross those off. HH3, Tampa Bay and Toronto. Just a couple teams up there. We've got some Heritage High number going tonight. I think next, I'm probably going to go with Bowman Draft. will be the next one up. Just because I've been really looking forward to it. And it's the hot product. Typically, when I do these breaks, I like to start at the stuff that people are most interested in. And then kind of like the stuff that maybe not everyone's interested in. Or maybe the lower end stuff we kind of save a little towards the end. So Heritage High number will be coming, but I think it's going to come after Bowman Draft. Alrighty, here's our next and final box of Museum Collection. Good luck to everybody. We have that Jax pack as well. Looks like this box cutter might need a new blade. Blade. 
first box up, it's going to be the Relic. It's Cody Bellinger, numbered to 50. Belly Bombs for Vito, another Cubs hit. And there's a Tatis numbered to 299. Denton's Dugout is here. What's up, man? Denton's Dugout's going to be coming up in the Heritage High number. He's got the Philadelphia Phillies in that round. Farmer said, should I get rid of my Wander PC now? I, from what I just heard, I, I would. There is Reese Hoskins out of 299. Philadelphia Phillies hit for Nicholas Vitale and Michael Harrison there as well. Gypsy Queen, yeah, I guess they got chopped too, which is crazy. Gypsy Queen, I thought, was kind of a fan favorite. You know, they had a nice big release of it retail-wise too. The Hobby Boxes always did pretty well. I feel like our breaks with Gypsy Queen always did very, very well. This one feels thick. I don't know. This this pack here feels pretty thick. Do we have a booklet? Oh, we got a booklet in here. There we go. A booklet in the last box. Let's see who it's going to be. A booklet. It is a dual autograph jumbo lumber bat relic booklet. It is going to be... Please be a big name. It is Dansby Swanson. Oh, my goodness. And Ryan Sandberg out of five. Look at that. A piece of the bat. Wow. Ryan Sandberg to five. And Dansby Swanson is a bat as well. Can you believe this hit for the Cubs? Vito Gargano with the biggest hit of the night so far. Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg and Dansby Swanson. What a fantastic pull there. The kid says the Cubs hit again. By the way, if we make this into a short, if you see a white subscribe button down there, hit it. We'd love to have you along for all of our videos. We do them every day. <laughs> Wes says that is bad A right there. We've got a booklet of Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. What would you say this is worth? At least a few hundred dollars right there in Dansby Swanson as well. Man, we got one box left. And, uh, man... Chris was thinking about getting the Cubs. He was thinking about it. But, man, Vito takes him and pulls a, a big one right there. And here's our last one. Chris thinks $500 on that card. That's a good card. Best card of the night so far. Last one right here. Let's see what we have in Museum Collection. We're going with Bowman Draft next. Ryan Sandberg was my favorite player back in, like, 19... 90. I used to have a binder of Ryan Sandberg. I think it's because the first Beckett that I ever bought, which is a price guide that they put all the prices in of all the baseball cards, he was on the front. And I was like, oh, that's my new favorite player, I guess. Let's see who we have in our final pack right here. We have Tristan Casas and a Jeff McNeil, who won the batting title but two years ago, number 275. Quad Relic, four pieces of his game used jersey there. And Tim Anderson numbered to 150. So that will conclude the museum collection round. We're going to open a Jack's pack and do some Bowman Draft. Can you stand? Okay. All right, we'll get museum collection put away. I've got a helper tonight, by the way. Shall I introduce you? Yeah. My girlfriend is here. Hi, guys. Sophia, and she is... She just made me a, just an amazing... Amazing homemade dinner with chicken, beans, potatoes, chocolate cake. It was fantastic. And now you're getting to see behind the scenes here, huh? Behind the scenes. What do you think? Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to do like five things at once. <laughs> All right, we got Michael Gunther right now. And Michael has a Jack's pack. I don't know. There's a little bit of brown stuff on there. That might be a good sign. Let's see what we have. In this one, Chris says, I used to buy Beckett's. I still, I found some out in my garage. I think I got the Ken Griffey Jr. one out there. Ron Roberts just sent it. says, I'll take the White Sox, and I sent the difference for the Phillies. So Ron Roberts just sold out the Jumbo Break. We're all sold out. We're doing that one next. Ron, good luck taking the Phillies. Got you penciled in there along with the White Sox. By the way, if you want to grab one of these, we'll see what we can find. Mean Street says, awesome Christmas gift from Sophia. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really, really <laughs> nice. We have Riley Green starting it off. Mike McCann says, can you move my credit M1 and I'll send the difference? Michael McCann, so you want in M1? We can do that for you. I'll put you in there right now. Michael McCann, so hey, we're looking forward to doing that round 
Michael McCann, thank you very much. You're in there. Let's see what else we have for Michael Gunther right here. Juan Soto prospect card. I wish I still had all my Becketts. I don't know whatever happened to those. Okay. We've got Victor Robles right there. There is... Oh, thanks, Lori. We've got a home field advantage Bryce Harper right there. Very, very nice. Yvonne Rodriguez numbered to 400. Yvonne Rodriguez, very nice card right there. We got Jared Kelnick, number to 50. Johnny Bench, that one is number to 199. Corbin Carroll, gold rookie card, Max Meyer. Bobby Witt Jr. from Tier 1. Look at that. Jack Packs are 235. 235. Denton says, I should have two spots in D3. Let me check into it for you, Denton. It's Jacob Berry to 99. And Michael Trion is in there as well. So let me check out on that Denton's. D3 is all sold out. You do have two spots in D3. So you might want to just double check that. But yeah, see Denton's dug out two spots. You're in there. 25 and 26. We're going to be moving now to the next round. It's Bowman Draft. Did you want to grab the case for me? Where is it? It's right there in the hallway. It's heavy, isn't it? <laughs> you can just slide it in. These things weigh like 50 pounds each. So Bowman Draft, it's a half round, which means it's four boxes. The big card is Tom Brady. He doesn't even play baseball, but they put him in here anyway to sell boxes. The man says, I sent in for museum collection. Yeah, that spot was already taken. So I think I said you have a credit. Is if you want to let me know your real name, um, are you Jason Snyder? If you're Jason Snyder, you have 45 bucks. You can I can send you a refund or whatever. It says you can just refund the money. Alrighty, we'll do that. Let me go ahead and get the Bowman draft all stacked up. Put this down here. Let me get uh, all right. We have to randomize these teams. No, we don't. Just kidding. Everyone already knows their teams. So break J3 will re refresh your memory since this was a pick your team round. Let me just go get Jason Snyder taken care of real quick since that team was already grabbed. We'll give you a refund. Let's see here. Looks like, oh, there's more payments coming in. Let's get this taken care of real quick. Carson Goodman just grabbed the Miami Marlins. So Carson, thank you very much. That's an HH3. No, we have Colorado left. I'll take him if we need to. Uh, Ron Roberts sent in for the White Sox and the Phillies and J3 sold this one out. Larry Zarling wants the next Jack Pack. We'll put your name on one of these. Larry Zarling, good luck. The next one up, by the way, is 21. These are just the ones that were left over from the unsolds. You just go in order. And Michael McCann got your payment for M1. Alrighty, so let me get Jason Snyder taken care of, and then we'll go ahead and do some Bowman draft and see if we can find Tom Brady's quote unquote rookie card. All right, so Jason Snyder, here comes your money right back to you. Refund this payment. And there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh everybody's memory. Here's the teams that you all bought in. J3 took like two weeks to sell or so, so maybe you even sent in a payment two weeks ago and forgot about it. So let's just refresh your memory here. Bowman Draft. We have Keith Gittery, who has the Arizona Diamondbacks. Ryan Bussey has the Atlanta Braves. Adam Hollenberg has the Baltimore Orioles. Chris Costello has Boston. Chris has the Chicago Cubs. Keith Gittery has the Cincinnati Reds. Ryan Bussey has Cleveland. Austin Gilbert has Colorado. Ron Roberts has the Chicago White Sox. Austin Gilbert with the Detroit Tigers. Chris has the Houston Astros. Lori Grant has Kansas City. Lori's in the house. Austin Gilbert has the Los Angeles Angels. Greg has the Dodgers. Timmy says, does Sophia deliver for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he actually lives in Greensboro. He's, he's just over the hill. He's really? <laughs> <laughs> you could probably have it over there in like five minutes. Mm. We have uh, Ryan Bussey with the Miami Marlins, Austin with the Milwaukee Brewers and Minnesota Twins, Ron Roberts with the Mets, Anthony has the Yankees, Patrick Phillips has Oakland, Ron Roberts with the Philadelphia Phillies, Keith has Pittsburgh, Chris has the San Diego Padres. We've got Kip with Seattle, Troy has the San Francisco Giants, James Beckmeyer has St. Louis, Keith has Tampa Bay, Josh has the Texas Rangers, Austin Gilbert with Toronto, and Daniel tazi has got the Washington Nationals and... He also has the Expos. All right, 402 people in here. This is what you want to see, right? Bowman Draft. It's 
How much is this per box? It seems like it goes up every single day. It just keeps going up and up. It's the really hot product right now on blowout cards. If you were going to buy a box of these for yourself, they would be $550. Supers are $799, which is $800. Round that up. And the HTA choices are still sold out there. All right, good luck. Hey, there's the Furkinator. Owen Furko's in the house. One of my ex-students now having success at IUP. The Furkinator, a huge, huge... Miami Marlins fan. So, I don't know. Who's the best Marlin? Who did you guys draft? Who was your number one draft pick, Furco? I I don't know. I feel like I should know that. <laughs> Steve says the Furkinator. All right, here we go. We'll see if we can find the Tom Brady. I just want a Tom Brady. A Tom Brady will be fine. The best autograph amongst the prospect is Wyatt Langford, and here we go. With our first one, we'll take out all the top rookies and sleeve those ones up. There's chromes in every pack. Three autographs per box. First box doesn't produce too much to go crazy about. On to box number two. Did you want to move up so you can see a little better? Come on up. Next, Brian Acuna's in there. Jackson Holiday Chrome card, and here's our first autograph. The webcast says, Sophia, hello. Hi. <laughs> Cole, <laughs> Cole Miller is the first hit. A nice on-card auto right there for the Oakland A's. So, Oakland A's, you got your hit. And this one is going to go to Patrick Phillips. So, Patrick, congrats. Chris Randall says hello. Let's see what we've got in this next one. Tommy Troy's a good one. Jacob Wilson. Paul Skeen's Refractor is a nice card. We'll get that saved up for the Pirates. I still need to find a Paul Skeen's card. Paul Skeen's has a really famous girlfriend. Her name's Olivia something. Have you heard of her? Olivia. Is it Dunn? Does anyone know what his, what his girlfriend's name is? But it's kind of... It might be kind of like the next power couple, like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. Maybe it would be Paul Skeens and... Is that, is that right? Let me be done. I don't know. I should know that, but I don't I don't know anything about anything pop culture, really. Yeah. <laughs> like, nothing. Not at all. You're like, have you, do you know this actor, this singer? And I don't know any of them. <laughs> I only know baseball. It, Keith says, it is Olivia Dunn that you're looking for. There's Drew Jones, number 299, pulled his dad today. Drew Jones, Andrew Jones, who I think will be in the Hall of Fame someday. All right, here's this next one. Everybody in the chat seems to know Olivia Dunn. <laughs> they all know her. There's Paul Skeens. Javier says Taylor Swift is doing her job uh, down with the Chiefs. I guess the Chiefs are doing well. I don't even know. I don't even really ever know how the Steelers are doing. I think they kind of stink. Because uh, this one kid in my class, first period, he's always in a really sad mood whenever the Steelers lose. I'm like, what, the Steelers lose? He's like, yeah. <laughs> There's Max Clark. That's a good one, Max Clark. He's a cover boy of the pack in the box. I always tease the people like football. I'm always like, yeah, Steelers suck. And even when they're good, I, stay, I still say they suck. They're like, well, no, they're not. Why do you say that? I'm like... Well, the Pirates had like 75 wins last year. What the Steelers have like 10 wins? Mm. <laughs> They're like, that's totally different. They play way less games. I'm like, nah, doesn't matter. Just kind of gets them mad. There's Max Clark right there. People used to pick on me all the time and give me a hard time because I was such a big Pirates fan growing up. And the Pirates were so bad. They had 20 years where they did not have a winning record. 20 consecutive years. And uh, finally all changed in 2013. They made the playoffs three years. But they've been bad ever since. Had losing records for the last what twenty since twenty sixteen. Next pack up, I think we're due another autograph. There is Kendall George, number two four ninety nine. Sandra says, "How was your Christmas? It was great, fantastic Christmas." And uh, oh, look at this! There's a Wyatt Langford. That's the best player in this set, and it's a sky blue parallel. For the Texas Rangers. And that is going to Joshua Bonham. So Joshua, congratulations on the sky blue. It's not numbered. Sky blues aren't numbered unless they are paper. 
But still a good pull right there. I hope we can find his autograph. That would be really, really nice. Let's see what we have in this next one here. There's a Gold Wave Mike Bowe. It's going to be his first Bowman. He was a second-round pick. It's number to 50. Milwaukee Brewers get on the board, and the Milwaukee Brewers are for Austin Gilbert, it looks like. Got all these lists here. Got to make sure I'm calling out the right one. Austin Gilbert and Grant Taylor there as well. Almost done with box one. I think we have one more autograph left coming to us. Elijah Green. We have a Lunar Glow right there of Luke Schliger. I think I said that. Schliger? I don't know. Some of these guys don't know how to pronounce their names because they haven't been in the big leagues yet. I think my stomach's still going? <laughs> I've been going all night. My stomach's been growling. I'm just going to say that to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Sandra says, Chiefs are not doing so good. Right, Patrick Mahomes is their their quarterback, right? I know that much. There's Wyatt Langford. His father, Pat Mahomes, was a former major league reliever there with the Mets. I remember getting his, like, I don't know, 92 pinnacle or something like that. And I was pretty stoked. I was like, yeah, this guy's going to be good. Jack Mahoney. He's not that great, but it's good for the Colorado Rockies. Austin Gilbert gets the third round pick. Always, that's Wyatt Langford. Will D3 run next? Hmm. Discount three. Good. We could probably do D3 next. Put that one together and get that one done since it's sold out. We usually like to do the sold out rounds first. Colin Hawk's a nice one for the Mets. Kiwi says, come on, Brady, where are you at? I don't know. Red Sox Tom says Mahomes is awful this year. I guess, like, it's kind of like with quarterbacks, you just, I don't know. Are they not predictably good all the time and sometimes they're just bad? I know that some of those good quarterbacks that were everyone was hyping up are now not worth anything. I can't remember any of their names. We have a Jacob Gonzalez Bowman Glass. It's numbered to 50. Man, good thing I flipped that over. I would have missed it. It's got a little gold tint to it right there. Colin Houck is in there, and that's the first box in the books. Moving on to the next box. Ike says, if there's a Tom Brady in the pack, it will be on the back. All right, so it'll be the very last card. That's good info to know. Hopefully it's not like the packs of old where you used to be able to see through the packs. I used to be, I used to look at that. Like when I was a kid. 1989 Topps Big. 1989 Topps Mini Leaders. Oh, yeah. I used to just be able to look at the back and I'd be able to like press it down and be able to see who was on the... I don't think you can do that anymore, luckily. Otherwise, you'd have guys in hobby shops like looking at every pack to see if they could see through. Here's our next one. Box two, pack one in Bowman Draft. And we've got Paul Skeens right there. Pirates number one overall draft pick. I sure hope it works out. Pirates haven't had the best track record of number one draft picks. Garrett Cole was a good one. That one worked out. Unfortunately, we didn't end up having Garrett Cole for all that long. He was with us throughout our playoff run, though. There's the Paul Skeens. I'd love to see Paul Skeens become an ace. Denton says, subscribe to your Patreon last week. Awesome. Glad to have you aboard, man. Thank you very much. There's AJ Ewing. That one is just a base auto, but he is a fourth-round pick. Javier says, time to pull that Brady. I hope so. That would be nice. Name says, all autos are in the next to last row. Did this experiment with my dad. Mike says, of all the times I've seen it pulling the brakes, it's always on the back. Man, I feel like we've broken, not a, not a crazy amount of Bowman draft, but maybe we just haven't opened enough yet to find it. There's Blake Mitchell, Bowman Glass, and we're on to our next box. All right, everybody, what was your best Christmas present that you received? Hey, I, yeah, I don't think we've all compared about that. I mean, every time we'd come back from Christmas break in school, some of the kids, especially my older kids, like the juniors and seniors, they'd always want to be like, uh, can we talk about our Christmas before we get started with the next lesson? So I think they're just trying to stall. But what was your best Christmas present? Did you get any baseball card presents? You can talk about that too. I did a video today opening a couple of the boxes that I got. 
<laughs> Jacob says, 377 watchers, 20 likes. Unacceptable. Thank you very much. I'm actually seeing 61 likes, but for everyone that has hit the like button, I really appreciate that. There is Christian Campbell, number 299. As people are putting their best Christmas presents. Ike says, I received the gift of sleep. Man, that's a nice gift right there. <laughs> Dean says, my kids love me. They gave me the flu. Man, my stomach's been upside. I sure hope I'm not getting something like that. <laughs> Steve says, Eric, you gave John some goodies. Yeah, I gave my brother a 56 Roberto Clemente second year card. He was looking for that card. Emmanuel Bonilla. And I bought out an entire showcase at the... Um, antique mall of all these vintage cards and there was a 56 Clemente in there and I put it aside just for him and then I got him some boxes as well I think I got him a 2019 update box 2019 tops update a holiday box Steve says the Clemente was awesome uh, yeah the guy was like your brother was just in here and wanted to buy that card but he didn't so I was like well looks like I know what I'm giving him for Christmas so grab that there is Andrew Pinckney, numbered to 199. Tom says, the wife and I just moved, so the presents were all really low this year. All I wanted was a record player. That's nice. I never know what to ask for for Christmas. There's Joe Vetrano, numbered to 150. Los Angeles Dodgers, team color match right there. The name says that Clemente was sick. That was, uh, yeah, it's a second year card, 56. I love the 56 design. It's one of the best. Keith says, best Christmas present. Tough call between underoos, a vacuum, scroll picnic table, loop, Pinella signed photograph. Cool stuff right there. Kiwi says, Stadium Club is now coming out the 17th. Really? It's not the 24th? I keep hearing so many different conflicting reports. If it's the 17th, it's going to go right up against Bowman Draft, or Bowman's Best. Villeneuve Celestin is a nice one to match. All refractor right there. Why are, they, why are they stacking them like that? There's like nothing coming out. We've got Bowman's Best which I think is the 19th. I don't know what day of the week that is. Maybe a Friday then if Stadium Club's the 17th, probably a Wednesday. Denton's got a pro debut hobby box. Hey, that's good. Four autographs. Nice chance at some nice prospects. Gabriel Gonzalez, number 250, is the next one. Ethan Salas. Got Max Clark there on the back. That'll be a refractor. Raven says, my wife got me a light box for taking photos. Very, very nice. Nothing on triple threads, said Steve. So the mystery of triple threads, what happened to it? Maybe it'll come out. Uh, pff, maybe they'll do a 2021 Big League with it and it'll release like two years later. That's a nice top pros, uh, product too. So that, that's a big money maker, you would think. Triple threads, like $400 a box. I'm surprised that um, they're letting that one go. I could see, like, opening day, letting that one go, or gallery. They probably don't make a ton of money from that. But that was kind of like a headlining product from Topps. Topps tri Triple Threads. A lot of people, that was one of their favorite releases of the year, including myself. And the Cubs hit a big one right here. Cubs? It's a Cubs night. It is Matt Shaw, one of the top names in this. And it's going to be a green first on-card auto, this one. Who picked up the Cubs this round? Chris Dasgupta gets them. Matt Shaw first. It'll be numbered to 99. That is a really great card right there. So Cubs hit again. It's Cubs night. See if they can continue to hit. We also have another Jack's pack from Larry Zarling. Picked up one of those if you want to grab Jack's packs at any time. We've got, looks like, uh, I don't know, two, four, six, eight. There might be 10 left out of the 40 original in the original run. And uh, I guess we'll just keep on sale. I don't know if Jack's watch right now. Keep them on sale. And then once they all sell, I'll send you your payment over. There's Thurston Waldrip, numbered to four ninety nine. dollars Wyatt Langford. Or I don't know. It, maybe if they don't, I'll get you paid by the end of the month. Just so I can, you know, kind of close out the taxes and everything for 2023. Definitely got to get that payment over for the end of the month, even if they're not sold out. All right, here we go with this next one. Jason Woodward starts this next one off. Let's see what else we have. This will be the last pack in box number two. We have Seth Keener. That is going to be a speckle. It's not numbered. Rainer Arias transformed a talent card right there as well. And on to the next box. 
Box number three out of the four in this half case break of Bowman Draft. My case guy was talking about Bowman Draft so big today, I was like, you just want to take my extra Bowman Super Draft case? Because it's like, <laughs> you can have it if you want to you know, trade me for it. I think I brought two cases of Bowman Draft Super. I know, I don't know. I have to look now. I think, that, I think I've maybe sold a half case of it. We'll see. Here we go with this next one. Box number three. We'll do the discount round next. We also have Heritage High number coming after that. Chris says, that might be my best team break Tuesday pull ever on the Matt Shaw. Yeah, that's a huge hit. Worth probably several hundred dollars. What's it go for? Matt Shaw out of 99. Let's see what we've got. In our next, we have Luke Keyshaw. It's going to be a nice sky blue. Bryce Eldridge and Gabriel Gonzalez also is in there. On to our next one. Jay Young at the back. So no Tom Brady in this one. Ike says the Brady is always at the very back of the pack. We got a Kendall George though. Kendall George, Los Angeles Dodgers. Get their hit. That's for Greg Mitsuyoshi. So that's a first round pick right there. Kendall George, really nice autograph. Jay Young there as well. Paul Wilson coming up next. Start this next pack up. There is Noble Meyer from the top draft picks cards. I'm looking forward to opening your jack pack, Larry. I'll be coming up here in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Wyatt Langford right there. It's going to be real interesting to see if he makes the club out of spring training. <laughs> Nick says, the Paul Skeens picture on the box reminds me of 87 Lynch. Yeah, Paul Skeens is definitely rocking the like mid to late 80s mustache there. Ed Lynch. The 87 Ed Lynch, he's mid-burp. Like, <laughs> if you ever see that that card, you'll, you'll see. And you'll be like, yep, he's definitely burping. Denton says, guess what? What is it, man? There he is, Paul Skeens, rocking the mustache. <laughs> That's that delivery face. Some pitchers have terrible delivery faces. I think the worst two that I can name. Kevin Apier and Jeff Karstens. The worst delivery faces ever. Kevin Apier looks like he put on, a, when he throws a pitch, like, he's a fit guy. He's a major league pitcher. But when he throws a pitch, his face looks like it's the face of a 500-pound man. I don't know why. If you look at any of his cards, you know what I'm talking about if you collected cards. And Jeff Karstens, man, his face just, it just, I don't know, it's, it's just hideous when he throws a pitch. You can, I guess you can Google image those guys when they're throwing pitches and find them. There's Gavin Cross. So for that reason... Kevin Apier was on the hate list for my brother and I, I think. <laughs> Good old Kevin Apier. Next pack up, Brady Smith starts this one. Here's all of our papers. And we've got Colton. I got to say his name right because I think the first time I called him Bedwetter. Colton Ledbetter. First Bowman auto right there. Second round pick, 55th overall. Tom says, uh, Tom says, how do you feel about Holiday joining Adley and Gunner? That's going to be quite a trio. Yeah, nice young trio. Mizzy's in the house. What's up, man? The scary thing is, though, all those guys, are, they're all going to come into their arbitration with, within a year or two of each other. They're not going to be able to afford all those guys. So the window on those three staying together is, at most, maybe like four years, four or five years tops. I don't think they're going to be able to sign all three of them. If they're, if they're all major stars, they're all going to want $300 plus million contracts. And uh, Baltimore's not exactly the biggest market. Jason says they'll all be Dodgers in three years. That's what will happen. Their last year of club control, if the Orioles don't want to pay them, who, who knows? They might be up at $25 million a year in their last year of arbitration or so. Orioles might be like, well, let's go ahead and just get a whole bunch of prospects. And that's what happens. Get these good players for a little while, and then they try to flip them into something else. But it doesn't always work. It's almost like taking your top card. It's like, man, I've got this card worth like 
$1,000, but I can't keep it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and sell it and then use that money to buy a bunch of other boxes. Then you open those boxes up and you just don't get really anything anywhere near the same value. That happens a lot. A lot, of, a lot of trades for prospects. A lot of the guys just fizzle out. Some of them never even make the big leagues. Jace Young out of 25. That's a nice one. Team color match for the Detroit Tigers. Seems to happen a lot with the Pirates. Here we go with our next one. Still three packs left. We've got Drew Hackenberg, number to 199. Nice numbered card. And there's Blake Mitchell for the Royals. Eighth overall pick. Yeah, poor Oakland A's. Hey, things might be changing for the A's. They got to Las Vegas, sell out every game. I mean, I feel like the Las Vegas would be a pretty big market. They might be able to start spending. So if you're an A's fan, though, stuck in Oakland, that might suck. But if you're... Oh, look at this. This is a fantastic pool. Man, we're getting a lot of Wyatt Langford autos. There's another one. The Wyatt Langford photo variation autograph. There it is. It's going to go to Texas. Joshua Bonham, when you pick this team up, it's numbered to 99 right there. That's the second one to 99 that we've pulled in as many weeks. Wyatt, I think it's a $500 card. So Wyatt Langford, big card. Let me go ahead and I actually found some one touches when I was cleaning today. Clean that, this, this room. Remember how I couldn't clean, like walk in here at all? It's all cleaned up. I was like... Well, my girlfriend's going to come over and be hanging out. I want her to be able to be in here with me. She's actually out there doing dishes right now. But uh, I was like, I can't, I can't be like, uh, just wait for me for four hours on the couch and I'll be out eventually. But that's a huge hit. Wow. So it's all cleaned up in here. I found some one touches down on the floor that had kind of escaped the original case. And here we go. Brand new, fresh one touch for you, Joshua. Congratulations. Get a sleeve put over it just to make sure that the surface is protected. And there it is, right there. There's <laughs> making her. She just went. I, I, I said, I, when she was finished up, I was like, "Want me to start these dishes?" She's like, "No, dinner's almost done." She just went and did it. I can't believe what a good cook she is, though. Jeez, talking like restaurant quality. But anyway, on to this next pack. Max Clark first. Can you get a car in your garage yet? Not yet. That's a goal, but I don't know. There's always so much going on that I would say it's about 40% clean. Not yet. I, um, I'm thinking about maybe just, I, I don't know, running a dumpster. Just getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff, but we'll see. I need to find someone to go through all these cards for me and take out the Hall of Famers. <laughs> TBT Time says, a woman will get you to clean up your stuff real quick. Yeah. It's kind of like Beauty and the Beast. I'm like, you can go anywhere in the house, but you're not allowed to go downstairs. You know, in Beauty and the Beast, they're like, you can go anywhere. He said, you can go anywhere, but not the West Wing. You can go anywhere, but you can't go downstairs. It's just too much. It's like baseball boxes everywhere down there. There's Rainer Arias. That's a nice one. A speckle right there. Yeah, I got to get that cleaned up. I've got all these cases. and I bought 20 Heritage High Number cases in this, like, giant tower downstairs. All the extra cases, like, when we're done here with, like, a, a break of a case, I just throw the empty box downstairs. So there's a bunch of just cardboard boxes down there that need to, that need to be broken down and put out to the trash. Here we go with this next one. Steve says, have a whatever can fit in your trunk sale for 300. That might be good. It'd be nice to be able to park my car in there again. Three car garage and I haven't parked my car in it since 2018, 2019, probably since 2019. There's Max Clark. Cause I noticed there's a lot of like 2019 stuff around there. That's probably the last time I parked in there. So I would like get out of the car and put the box on a shelf or something in the garage to clean the car out. Since then, after that, I'd probably just whenever I needed to take stuff out of the car, just bring it straight into the house through the front door. 
There's Andrew Pinckney. Next one up there. That's going to be Washington Nationals. Daniel Tossi with the Pinckney. Ran a 10-yard roll-off dumpster and start tossing. Yeah, might as well. I need to... I don't know. Like I can't toss the cards out, even though I didn't pay that much for them. I need to just find someone that loves baseball. Hey, Timmy, you want to sort out Hall of Famers? <laughs> we could do that if, if you're... If you want to go through a bunch of junk wax in your free time and take out all the Hall of Famers and stuff, and then we could sell them off and split it. Something that I would definitely be interested in doing. I need to find someone close that would want to do that. Here we go with this next one. Andrew Walters. Top Charger chick one. You're up in Massachusetts, though. That'd be tough. It wouldn't be worth shipping the cards there. It'd be so expensive to ship them all. But yeah, if you're close by, definitely. There's Termar Johnson, number 275. George Wyatt just grabbed two in the Bowman Mega Box round. Awesome. Bowman Mega Box round's going to go tonight, it looks like. Let me go ahead and check out how that one's coming along. Got to get logged back in here because PayPal logs me out after like five, ten minutes. Brian says, Timmy, did you ever hit an errant shot in a jab's yard? <laughs> I'm sure he has. Oh, I bet he has. George Weiner taken two. Let me get you on the list. Who hasn't, really? There's uh, there's just... <sighs> during the uh, peak season when there's golfers just going by nonstop. I might get 20 golf balls a day into my yard. It's pretty crazy. I'll tell you what, it's... It's, it's always a pain. It's like a big Easter egg hunt when I go to cut the grass. I got to pick all those up. And it's like an Easter egg hunt. Picking up all the golf balls before I cut the grass. Otherwise, they'll get caught in the mower and go shooting out. I don't want them like bouncing off my house or whatever. Or my car or whatnot. Alfredo Duno. Right there. Mike says, I'll do it. You're not that far away from me. Mike, where are you at? Yeah, if you want to pick up like... 30 to 50,000 cards at a time. Go through them all. We'll make lots out of them. Sell them. You're an Altoona. Yeah. Enrique Bradfield. That's a good one right there. First round pick. Enrique Bradfield. How many cards would I estimate? I would say whew, almost 2 million. I had about 2 million before, and then I sold like 300,000 of them for like 300 bucks, and I. It's like I felt I felt terrible getting rid of them because I felt like I was getting ripped off, but I just wanted to get some space. But yeah, basically it would be uh, I'd just say pick out all the Hall of Famers and guys that uh, like stars from the air, like Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Roger Clemens, even guys that aren't in the Hall of Fame that might get in someday. Like I take out Gary Sheffield, Kurt Schilling, Dale Murphy, guys like that. Put them in the lots. And then the commons, we'll just find somebody that wants commons. We'll say, hey, we took out all the good ones. You can have these commons for just literally pennies. For pennies on the dollar. Like a couple bucks for like 5000 or whatever. There's Jacob Baumeister out of 50. Yeah, if you got the time and you love sorting cards, I just don't have the time. These, these collections, I bought them way, going way back to like 2018. Patreon pack golf balls. My daughter actually has a whole business plan to sell the golf balls back to the golfers. She does that from time to time. When it's a nice day, and there's a bunch of golfers. She'll go out there with a little sign in the backyard, put golf balls for sale. Here comes a nice hit, maybe. Is it going to be a red? Nope, it's going to be Charlie Soto. It is numbered, though, out of 250 I think she made 50 bucks to one day. A couple hours of work sitting out there, selling golf balls back. She's got a big business plan. She's like, yeah, this summer gonna branch out i'm gonna sell lemonade and water bottles she's like i want to make twenty five hundred dollars this summer that's man imagine being oh man being 12 years old and making twenty five hundred dollars man i i would have been the king <laughs> if i was 12 and had that much money i would have bought so many baseball card boxes my dad would have been so disappointed in me Kevin Sim used to hate it whenever we would spend all of our Christmas money on baseball cards. That's all we would do. Go to Connecticut where our grandmother was, and she'd give us 50 bucks for Christmas. And the first thing we would do, we'd beg him to go to the local card store because the card store up there was amazing. It was called Rock Sports Cards, like near or outside of Bristol, Connecticut. There's Kay Denton. Oh, it was the greatest card store ever. It was like 
being a kid in a candy store, except even better, as Paul Skeens. So the Rockies getting some hits. That's pretty nice. Colorado Rockies going to Austin Gilbert, picking up. That's your second one. Got two packs left in this round. Wyatt Lang for the big pool. And we've got one pack left. See what we can find here in this last pack. I hope it's a good one. Danbury says names Fane. Yeah, Connecticut's not a particularly huge state. So, yeah, we were always in Bristol, Connecticut. And uh, nice town. Nice little town. Home of ESPN. The actual ESPN headquarters was in Bristol, Connecticut. We used to drive by it from time to time. I also think there's an amusement park there, Lake Compounds or something like that. How long is the vacation? It seems, I don't know, it seems like it's going to go by really quick. We go back, I think, the day after New Year's. So we still have, I think, a week. No. We've got, if you don't, it's like six days left. It's going to go by too quick. I just know it already. But it's been a great vacation so far. Is HH3 all sold out, says Ross. HH3 is going to go. There's only the Colorado Rockies left. There's only one team left. Yeah, so that it'll go. We'll do the discount round next. We also have a Jax pack for Larry Zarling. Look at that. Dylan Head, first round pick. It's numbered to 10 on the lava. Very, very nice. Congratulations on that one to the San Diego Padres in the last pack. A little last pack magic right there for you. All right, we're going to go to our next round. Let's see what we have in store. J3's in the books. Big Wyatt Langford autograph in there. That's what you were hoping for, Jacob. I said the discount round, didn't I? All right, so before I do the discount round, Larry Zarling picked up a Jacks pack. Let's open that up for him and see exactly what we've got going on in there. Good luck, Larry. Hope you can pull something decent. Box 18. We're going to put box 18. I'll put this with box 18. Hmm. Somewhere. This is box 21. So, you know, there's nothing affixed to the bottom of it. Box 21. The next box up would be 25. And then we did box 18 just a second ago. Oh, there it is. I put it behind me on the floor. Any breaks close to needing a team? Uh, Missy, HH3 has Colorado. They're the last team left there to go. The museum collection already went off. Bowman draft already went off. Mm, let's see what else put j3 in red so i did that to not look at it. chrome black has colorado white Sox, miami let me update that list for you real quick so j3 is all sold out those all went colorado is the only one left in hh3 for chrome black we got colorado white Sox, miami tampa bay and washington so that has five we'll probably do that that case of chrome black tonight all right, so here we go. Let's check out this box. Corbin Carroll X-Factor is in there for you, Larry. That's a nice card right there. Gunnar Henderson. By the way, we still have these available. If you want to send everyone, we'll open them up between rounds. Randy Rosarena, red. Number to just 10. Joey Votto in there. Number to 299. Stand the Man Usual, Spencer Strider. We got another Corbin Carroll autograph from Bowman Sterling. Jack loaded these up with Corbin Carroll autos. That's probably like the fifth one that we found. Fantastic. Austin Hendrick, former first-round pick by the Reds. Extraterrestrial talent, another Corbin Carroll. Ronald Acuna Jr., that's some sort of image variation. Yep, image variation of Ronald Acuna Jr. We've got Max Freed is the next one. Pristine hit right there, and Fernando Tatis Jr. out of 99 is the final hit of Larry's box. So, Larry, thank you very much. All right, the discount round is coming up now. And I feel like this one... I thought I put it all together, but I don't think I put it together yet. Let me put it together for you right now. I'm just going to grab boxes off the shelf. Did you see the, the thumbnail of all the boxes I have just stacked up everywhere? It's a, it's, it's a lot. But we're starting off with chrome black. So we're going to kind of like build, build a break right now. I'm going to just grab all these boxes off the shelf. For the mixers, I did this already. I went through. I thought I did this with this round, but I don't see a box anywhere that has these in here so here's the boxes in this discount round we've got chrome black we've got heritage high number hobby and a heritage high number blaster so here's the blaster i'm gonna get all the boxes on the screen here for you here's the hobby 
So that's in this discount round. We've got Series 2 Hobby Box and the Series 1 Hobby Box. Those are, like, buried. <laughs> I have the cases here. Um, series 1 is right there. I might have to run downstairs and grab those. Let me make a list real quick. So Livy is in the house. Hey, Livy. Livy is saying goodnight. Livy, man, I hope that... You've had a great night, Livy. Livy is having an allergic reaction tonight, folks. She took a shower and said she's having an allergic reaction, so that's not very good. We got 21 Holiday that we have to grab as well. 2016 Mega. Well, that's going to be a fun one. 2016 Chrome Update Mega. Got a case of these up here. Livy, I hope you're feeling better. Send me a text in the morning to say how you're doing. So there's this one right there. Austin Gilbert. What's Austin saying? Austin Gilbert said something. What did you say? Can I get my credit refunded? Yeah, I'll take care of that in a second. Let me just finish filling this one. All right, what else do we need in this one? Topps Holiday Mega Box. Bowman Chrome Mega Box. So I cleaned up in here and I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Tops Holiday Mega Box. We got those up here. We put those up there. Bowman Chrome Megas. There's a big case of those somewhere. Here they are. Bowman Chrome Megas. What else do we have in there? Jackie Roach just picked up a Jack's pack. Thank you very much. A Mickey Mailbox is in the mix. Got a Mick box. All right. So I just need a Series... I need a Series 1, a Series 2, and a 2021 Holiday Box. And then I'll have all 10. So there's 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep. So let's go ahead. I'll go grab those in a second. Let's go ahead and randomize the spots right now for D3. Yeah, Libby, hope you're feeling better. Send me a text tomorrow. Let me know how you're doing. Sandra says, take Benadryl. That's what I told her. And she said that it was bedtime and they, they had any, unfortunately. So do I have any black and white boxes left? That's Mizzy. I am all sold out of those, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, those went pretty quick. I think we extinguished our supply on those. In the Saturday showdown, they were really popular. I'm going to go and randomize the spots for this right now. We're going to random.org. Here we go. Let's scroll down to the list randomizer. We'll get all the, the uh, names here from D3, which is the type of school that I went to. <laughs> D3? I was a D3 athlete? No, I wasn't even a D3 athlete. I actually was on the uh, basketball team my freshman year. Then I quit after like two weeks. All right, there's all the names. Yeah, I went to a D3 school, really small school, about a thousand kids there. All right, we'll go ahead and see who's got what. Scroll down here. We'll go ahead and get this put over right there with all the names. Copy and paste these now. I usually start from the bottom actually. Because otherwise I pick up all the crap at the bottom. They have like IP address and all this other information that we don't need to be copying and pasting. All right. Here's who everybody has. Yeah, I was cleaning today, Livy, and I found a Christmas gift that Santa didn't give you. And I think you're going to like it. I can't wait to come over in two days and, and get it. I, th I think it's good. I think you'll like it a lot. So we have the Arizona Diamondbacks going to Virginia Beach Collectibles. Ricky Sawyers has the Atlanta Braves. Dustin Fernandez has Baltimore. Nicholas Vitale has Boston. David Ahn has the Cubs and also Cincinnati. Vito for the Cleveland Guardians. Sam has the Colorado Rockies. Lori has the Chicago White Sox. Bernard has Detroit. George has Houston. Jeremy Broadwater has the Kansas City Royals. Michael Gunther with the Angels. Denton has the Dodgers. Robert has the Miami Marlins. Ryan has Milwaukee. Denton's has Minnesota. Troy has the New York Mets. Timothy has the Yankees. Thomas Wilcox has the Oakland A's. Chris Randall has Philadelphia Phillies. Shannon Stratton has the Pittsburgh Pirates. David Ahn has San Diego. Bernard has Seattle. Adam Hollenberg, San Francisco. Brett Adams, St. Louis. Bernard May, Tampa Bay. Vincent Smith, Texas. Ian Cooper, Toronto. John Mayer has the Washington Nationals. Good luck, everybody. We'll start ripping some of these over. I'll open. I'll go grab those two extra, three extra boxes that we're missing here in a second. But let's go ahead and start things off with Heritage High Number. Yeah, I'm wondering if I just like walked around my stock room and like, all right, I got an extra boxes of this, 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 and this, and then just forgot to grab them and put them all together in a case and bring them up. 
we go. Let's start with this. The discount round here. This was a $20 round, so Baltimore should be Justin Fernandez, says Steve. All right. I'm glad you said something that said Dustin. I would have been all confused when I typed in Dustin Fernandez and something came up. Jonathan says, what hobby box is worth buying at Walmart? Walmart doesn't sell hobby boxes. It's just retail. So you got blaster boxes there you can buy. Holiday's pretty good because it had... What? Do we have... I thought I saw some thick stuff. We have something there. I thought for a second we may have had a hot box. Holiday gives you a guaranteed relic or autograph. Most often a relic. I thought I was seeing a couple white stock cards there. It might be the Aaron Judge card flip there that I'm seeing. Card number 100. It's like, wait a minute, we might have a hot box here. We don't, but we, you see those two white stock cards right there. All right, let's see what we have. Heritage High number, there's a hit. in the blaster box, the discount round, $19 round. And hey, we have Chris Randall. You got the Phillies, you got the first hit. So he didn't pick up the Cubs tonight, but he does have a hit. Oh, the stickers, I forgot about those. The stickers are usually by the team. Like, that's that's all the Cardinals. So that'll get sorted into the Cardinal stack. So, all right. Not too bad. A blaster box and getting a hit. We'll take that one. Chris will take that one. Congrats on that one. Chris. Got a sort of box for this discount round. We'll do the other Heritage High number next. Let's see what we can find in there. Usually it's one Relic or Auto. O'Neill Cruz box topper. We did this in the uh, Saturday Showdown. There's a lot of Autos. I think the Autos actually beat the Relics. I don't know how many boxes we opened, like seven, but I think there's more Autos than Relics. It was pleasantly surprising. Heritage High number maybe. An underrated release. No, people, I guess people aren't really grabbing these up because you can buy these hobby boxes for like 60 some dollars or so at your local card store, which is super cheap for a hobby box. Did you ever think you'd see a $60 hobby box again back in like 2021 when freaking hobby boxes were over a hundred? You're paying them, what were we paying? Like 139 for a hobby box? Back at the peak of the pandemic, now everything's like, half as much not everything's half as much but should be I'd love to see the retail stuff come back down well, hobby boxes have come way back down the earth but the retail blasters are still up there 25 30 bucks a piece and i'm wondering if it's just because people buy them we stopped off at target today i was like you mind if we run to target real quick i'm not sure what i want to do for my video tonight and that target tuesday is always on the table so we ran into target and uh, they didn't have a single baseball card box in there. It's like, well, looks like everyone hit them up pretty hard for Christmas. It's like, you know what? It'd be kind of cool to open some of these baseball card presents on camera. Tomorrow's Wednesday, Walmart Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. We were at Walmart today, too, to get all the dinner supplies. My girlfriend's like, you really don't ever cook, do you? Because there was like nothing. There was nothing to cook with. <laughs> like a couple random pots and pans. Opens the spice cabinet. There's like literally maybe, I think one thing of garlic salt in there and that's it. Hey, look at this, Jeter Downs. So another autograph, terrible autograph. And the fact that he's just awful penmanship, but hey, we'll take it. Like I said, there's been a good bit of autos in Heritage High Number from what I've seen. I haven't opened a lot of this, but I'm looking forward. There's Logan Allen. I think that's a image variation. Looking forward to seeing what we have in these. We've got some Heritage High Number rounds coming up at the end of the night with the HH1 and HH3. Well, I'm just going to grab a whole new sealed case so that we make sure at least someone gets a hot box. Do half of the, half the case in HH1, the other half the case in HH3. So I'm just says, I made two pizzas tonight. Good job. I love homemade pizza. My mom would always make homemade pizza every Saturday night. It was really, really good. 
Francisco every now and then. Go over there on Saturdays and she has pizza for me. I remember she used to like make the dough from scratch and put it above the fireplace to rise. We used to like uh, have a, an actual wood burning fireplace in our house, which is really cool. It was always so warm. Yuri Perez out of nine ninety nine. That was the uh, that was the place of the terrible garbage pail kid incident of nineteen eighty six. Used to my my older friend. His name was David S. He was my mom's friend's son, and he was a little older than I was. And he was really into garbage pail kids, so he would buy them all the time. He got me into them, so I started buying them too. And this was like eighty, I think 80, 85, 86. I was just a young kid, so anytime we'd go out, I would get garbage pail kids. My my mom, dad, whoever would would buy them. I, I remember having a lunch bag filled with them, and um, I think my parents thought they were just like like Cabbage Patch Kids, like those little freaking dolls that girls play with. Like, why would I want that? And I th I'm, I remember my mom, like, finding out what they were and being very disappointed. And I don't know if this was the ex exact quote, but I feel like she may have said something along the lines of, like, God wouldn't like that or something like that because we grew up very religious. And I remember doing what I thought was right and taking all my garbage pail kids and burning them in the fire, like just throwing them in the fireplace. Who knows? I don't, I don't know if they're a first series or whatever, but they were they're older ones. We got the... Uh, next up, we've got the Holiday Box. And... Uh, yeah, I regret it. And then a couple years later, I'd get back in the cards and do a baseball card. But Garbage Pill Kids were the first packs that I re remember getting. But I don't really count those because they're kind of stickers and I just... Got him because my friend David S. I don't think my brother even remembers that. He was probably only like one year old or two. Christmas ornament. I've never seen a signed Christmas ornament. Clint Kershaw right there. Let's see what we have in our holiday box. Usually a short print. Victoria says, are there going to be any card shows anytime soon in this area? I think there's a Southern Park Mall show in like two weeks. That's out in Youngstown, Ohio. I think that's... An, I asked about it. There's a short print of Luis Robert, and I think that's what they said was the next one right there. Steve says, how do you not have a book out? <laughs> you know what? Growing up, I wanted to be a writer, by the way. I wanted to be like a... Look at this! A Santa Claus Santa Archives 2021 card right there. Very nice. That's pretty sweet. I hate the 2021 design, but I like this card. That's the best 2021 design card I've ever seen. Look at that. 2021. So they have this for different years, featuring that year's design. It tells you who, like what the top present was as Pokemon celebrated its 25th anniversary in 2021. Cards and figurines related to the pocket monsters remained as popular as ever that Christmas. Santa had plenty of options for stocking stuffers as tiny toys were in. Among those most coveted, the five surprise toy mini brand series one collector's kit and my squishy little dumplings. I don't remember my kids wanting those. That was just a couple years ago. Man, a great card. That goes to the Oakland A's. Anytime there's a weirdo card like that, the policy on this channel has been and always has been. Oakland A's get them. So who's got the Oakland A's in this weirdo round? Thomas Wilcox. We'll get that one in your stack. Gabriel Moreno for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Nice hit right there for Virginia Beach Collectibles. I got a short print Bobby Witt with the Christmas hat on for Kansas City. Brian says you have two million of fireplace fuel now with all the uh, all the two million junk wax cards out in the garage. Yeah, nothing else in that one right there. What should we do next in this discount round? How about a Mickey Mantle box? Twenty twenty one Mickey Mantle X Tops collection. Probably, arguably, my biggest ever autograph pull on this channel was out of one of these boxes. I pulled the mantle. Only seven total mantles made with autographs, and we got one of them. This one here is going to have the 51 red. We got the Mickey Mantle Bowman card from 1954, I believe. Then there's Mickey Mantle. I love this card. I need this card. 56 mantle. There's a 2019 mantle and a 69 mantle. So, hey, all those, guess who they go to? New York Yankees. That's for Timothy. So, Timothy, you got those. Let's do the Topps Chrome Update. So, Topps Chrome Update. It's basically it's Topps 20, 20, uh, 2016 Topps with some Chrome Update in there. 
You get five packs of Tops Update and two Chrome Update. So this is before they split. It's kind of cool. It's a hybrid. You get the 2016 Update with Chrome Update all in the same box. And then, I don't know if it was the next year or the year after, but they split them up so that they could get two different products out of there. I, I, I think, I, I don't know, I, I would like it if they stuck with this. Although it would be kind of tough to build the chrome set from just two packs here and there but hey at $14 a box these were $14 back in the day might be worth it let's see what we have in this one I got Aaron Hill starting this next one off 3,000 hit club right there of Eddie Murray Hall of Famer 500 home run club member there's each row Sean and I right there <laughs> Patrick says I dislike the sideways cards Yep, I I don't know. If there's a couple here and there, it's okay, but when it's like half the cards, there's a Trevor Story rookie card for the Colorado Rockies. That's a decent card right there. Rediscover Tops, Ross Stripling. I'll go like this and I'll go, go the other way right, right off the bat. 3,000 hit club of Hank Aaron. Now these cards here are pretty nice. These Chrome update cards, I think they're sweet. see we have in here i wish the chrome update still looked this way i guess i'm gonna get logged back into paypal so i can keep an eye on the list here see how they all look all speckled up holy res rookie card luis severino rookie card trevor story getting some good rookies right there to start this one off not too shabby kenta maeda rookie card all speckled up for us right there. You find that box in your guys. Is this box here? No. I, I have a little case of these that I've had for a while now. That would be cool, though, to find some 2016 out there. All right. So we have Jackie Roach grabbed a Jack Pack. So you get the next one up. That's number 25. Let me find my marker here. Jackie Roach with another Jack Pack. Justin Waltrip grabbed the White Sox for Chrome Black. Thank you very much. I'll get you put in there right now. Chicago White Sox, Justin Waltrip, and Cars R Us took the Miami Marlins for Chrome Black. And Larry Zarling just grabbed another Jack Pack. The next one up is Box 26. No bonus on either of these. So Larry Zarling. That leaves us... Total number of Jack Packs left available from the entire run is, I see... Eight boxes 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 36, 38, and 39 are all still available. So that's what two, four, six. There's eight boxes left all together. Let's go into the Bowman Chrome. We're going to be opening a whole bunch of Bowman Chrome Megas tonight. Let's see what we can find in this next one in the discount round here. Michael says, might have a bonus inside. Maybe. Yeah, these ones don't have the bonuses attached to them. I think Jack put 10 bonuses in. So basically, every one in every four boxes has a bonus. Let's check out this right now. Victoria says, I know for a fact there's a card show February 18th. Nice. Is that, is that the Washington Crown Center show? That's the big one. All these base rookies in here, base rookies and veterans, and then here's the good stuff. The prospects, that's where your autographs and numbered cards are going to be. we got Miguel Tamares, that's a pink, numbered to 199 in there. All right, we've got the chrome black box next, and then there's three boxes missing from this round. I have to go run and grab those really quickly. It's a Series 1, Series 2, and a 2021 holiday. I'll be right back in a second, and we'll get back to D3. And then we're doing a whole case of chrome black, in just, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, 15 minutes after we're done with those other three boxes. I'll be right back.
Alrighty, back with the missing boxes here. We've got series one. We've got series two. We've got the holiday box. Actually, I don't have that one. I still have to grab that one. That's in a different location of the house. Why I do that? I don't know. <laughs> Philip says Greensburg stocks on Wednesday, so Trevor didn't have anything good last week. Yeah, I know. Wednesdays, huh? I don't know if there's going to be anything good for a while. I guess maybe Stadium Club is going to be the next one, but you never know when there's going to be like an MJ Holdings pack that comes out. All right, so we've got the Series 1 right now in this discount round. This was a $19 round for all 10 of these boxes. And uh, get these open up right now. Let's see if we can find... One auto or relic per box. Oh, are they, is this going to be like a freaking Franken box where all the cards are flipped there? Oh, I hate these types of boxes. Or all the cards are flipped every which way. Half of them going one way, the other half going the other way. These are the worst kind. Chris is happy. You got a hit. Yeah, Reese Hoskins relic. And it came out of a blaster box. You don't see that. Hey, there's Steel Walker. Pink rookie number to 50 for the Giants. That's good. I totally hate how these guards are flipped. Like, why is it like that? I'm going to go back down there and put a big frowny face on this box so to make sure that I never open another box from this one. I used to do that. I used to do that for uh, for Platinum Anniversary. I put a big frowny face on, like, the inside cover of the box so that I would know that, like, you know, don't open these in a break. Like, just use them to, like, send them off to Patreon members. Like, not that they're bad packs, it's just like they're not fun to open up. Like they're fine to send to Patreon members. There's still the autographs in there and everything. And I remember I, I sent it to Jerry Fine with his Patreon package. Big frowny face. He opens it up. The first thing you see is a big frowny face. <laughs> so I had to like put a little note in there of like, sorry, this this is not meant for you. I like around the box. This is not meant for you. It's just and I like wrote out a paragraph explaining why I drew a frowny face there. Because, like, you open your Patreon box, you, you're hoping you got some nice boxes in there and you get greeted with a big frowny face. That wouldn't be good. So, <laughs> get a nice laugh out of that. Sent me a message about it. Here we go with this second half of this box. Still Walker so far, the only good card. You should have turned, told them to turn it upside down. I guess I could have, but then it wouldn't really look like anything. It was literally a frowny face. All right. Here's the rest of the Series 1 box. Let's get right to the hits. We've got all these papers that are flipped every which way. Series 1 for 2024 is not that far away. If you think about it, about a month and a half. Kristen Yelich, gold foil there. Hey, there's your hit. Alex Bregman, it's numbered to 99. Washington Crown Center says Victoria. It's February 3rd and 4th, but the other card show is Mall of Robinson. I don't usually get out to the Mall of Robinson that often. It's kind of far for me. It's like an hour and a half, I feel like. And I feel like whenever I go, there's not that many tables there. It might be 20 tables or something like that. So that one's usually one that I skip. Unless there's a reason to go out there. Like, I don't know, maybe we could find something to do out that way and make a day of it or something. We already did the Boca de Beppo restaurant out that way, which I think is right next to the Robinson Town Center. Let's see what we've got coming up in this next one. Here's a gold. Kyle Gibson. Just about done with this. Series 1 box. We've got the Series 2 box too, which I think is... Man, Series 2 boxes. I think that might be a nice buy. Series 2. What are these, like, $65 a box? For a Series 2 box? It'll be coming up next. I think there's some decent rookies in there. Got Anthony Volpe in there, Jordan Walker, Corbin Carroll rookie card in there. I mean, those guys, those three aren't quite as good as the Adley Rushman and the Gunnar Henderson and Michael Harris trio of Series 1, but they're not all that far behind. I can see Volpe being a major star, especially playing in the New York market. I'm, I'm not sold on Jordan Walker yet, but Corbin Carroll just won the rookie there. I could definitely see him being a just multi time all-star so i don't know that's that might be one if you want to 
you know, throw a box on the shelf. What are they on blowout cards? Like 65 bucks for a hobby box? They're really cheap right now. I'm thinking that blowout just maybe like bought a million cases and just wants to get rid of them so they can make room for 2024 stuff. Let me tell you, I feel it because I have so many 2021 cases and I'm just like, why do I have all these still? I need to get rid of this stuff. Volpe, I think Volpe's going to be good. Yeah, he was a 2020 guy last season and he kind of struggled all year. Still managed 2020 in that little ballpark. Michael Harris' rookie card is in there. Base paper. And that's it for the Series 1. So, man, that was kind of a tough box in terms of going through them all. Let's hope the Series 2 box is a little easier. So we got Series 2, we got Chrome Black. We also have the Silver Packs we'll open up. And then we'll get into the Chrome Black case round. There's the other Silver Pack. What is the break? This is the discount round. I call it the discount round D3. It was $19 per team. I think we're going to get this. We got this one. I think we're going to get... We got Chrome Black. We got... Oh, man. What else? We got Bowman Chrome coming up, which is real close. Bowman Chrome Megas. So, <laughs> I told Sophia we'd probably be done like 11.30 or so. Watch us be done at like 1. She's like, I'll just drink a Red Bull so I can stay up. Let's see what else we can find. Patrick says, have you guys seen any 2023 Bowman Draft for fra retro fractures? I have not. Yeah, they're tough to find. Josh Gibson and the Ostromsky are listed on eBay. What about 20? Oh, yeah, 2021 Holiday Kiwi. Thanks for reminding me. I hate it when I forget a box and I have to like, come back and like film it. We'll go do that in a second. So, oh, man. I was going to say, yep, okay. Why is that one card flipped over like that? Is it going to be like every card is fine except for one? Rowdy Teles, now on the Pirates, by the way. Definitely like this. A lot better than having to flip over every other stack of four cards. Makes going through all the paper cards a breeze. Because we're just basically like the paper cards. They're nice. I mean, we've seen them a million times. Corbin Carroll rookie card is in there. But if you're looking for big value, you're trying to find the parallels. Jordan Walker rookie card is in there. Jordan Diaz, that's going to be a silver foil. Go grab that 2021 holiday box here in a second. White Sox Tom says, Jabs will never do an upper deck break. I found a 91 upper deck box out in my garage. I might do that. I, I'll hate it, but I might do it just for the Michael Jordan. I feel like we've already done that box a couple times, but it might be worth doing it again. He says, did anyone see that Wander might be on the lam? Yeah, somebody said that allegedly, what we've heard, somebody reported that Wander Franco was, I guess, missing. They raided his house and he's nowhere to be found. Did you do all the dishes? Oh, thank you. I need to get that dishwasher wash fixed. That's yeah. something we need to get done. All right, let's see. Hey, I didn't say it, Kiwi. Somebody else said it in here. Let's see what we've got coming up in this next one. Jared Walsh is upside down. Dylan Carlson. Silver foil. I don't think we got the autograph. Just one autograph for one relic per box. And there he is, Brian Bayo, Red Sox rookie. Not too shabby. Not numbered, though. Numbered card's worth a little more. Derek Cheater, 88. It's all over social media about Wander Franco. Wander Franco was, at one time, the one of the big, big names that everybody was looking for. His autographs were worth a whole bunch of money. He was a star. He was an all-star. And then news broke that he was potentially in multiple relationships with, like, 14-year-old girls and stuff. And so he got suspended, put on the restricted list for Major League Baseball. Hasn't played since August. And people are now saying that he's missing. Like, they can't find him. So that's crazy. 
You gotta feel bad for all these people that bought his, his cards for a lot of money because his autographs were worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars and now they're going for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Somebody was selling his rookie card, his parallel rookie card for 14 cents at a card show a couple months ago. It used to be worth like 100 bucks. See, we got the autograph out of here already, so it's just gonna be a bunch of base paper. We'll look for a parallel or so. <sighs> Ricky Henderson. Uh oh, is the computer dead? Yeah. Trey Turner, three hundred million dollar man, gold card. nothing else in this one we got the chrome black box and i gotta get a holiday box that i forgot to get tom's holiday francis might be hiding in your garage if you don't want to see my garage <laughs> <laughs> it's have you ever seen the show hoarders yeah well that's kind of what it's like <laughs> it's not quite as bad though like i think i've got like 40 percent of it cleaned out i used to just put stuff out there all the time it's like two million baseball cards out there in boxes. Let's see what we've got in this last couple silver packs. Michael Harris is in there. Nothing else. Do you think it's hot in here? These yeah, lights. Toasty. Yeah, these lights definitely give off a lot of heat. I'm going to grab the holiday box. And uh, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because it's definitely hot in here. I'm going to spin a little bit. <laughs> I'll be right back with the holiday box and we'll get that chrome black opened up too. All right, finally found the box. Sorry for the slight delay there. This is the last, I think it's the last 2021 box I have. I also went to grab a Prime right there. So, I don't know, it's feeling like really hot in here. So I wanted to get a Prime. So this is your first time trying it. It's, sweet. it's like a sweet Gatorade. Sweet Gatorade? Yeah. What did you give it on a scale of one to 10? Six. That's it. <laughs> I make these all the time. <laughs> here we go with this next one. There's going to be one hit in here. Let's see what we can find coming up. Chris, this is 2023 update in here. Let me check. I thought I went down the list on Patreon and checked them all off. 2023 update's not on this list. Nope. Just went through and double checked it all. We got a chrome black case coming up next. That'll be good. I hope it's good. 
Mike O'Donnell just became a new channel member. Thank you very much, Mike. I really appreciate that. Let's see. If we, oh, no. I hate this design. 2021 design. Such an ugly design. Although the short prints, if I remember correctly, they do flip them over for us to make it a little easier. There's the hit. Casey Myers for the Detroit Tigers. And we'll see if we have any metallic snowflakes in here. CB4 is next. Yeah, we're doing chrome black next. That's going to be an exciting one, I think. At least I hope so. Can't be... Nothing can be as bad as the preview video where every box was, like, losing half of our money. That was awful. Like, man, was that ever bad. Here's the chrome black. This is the last box in this round. The three. Who's it going to be? We also have the Jack's Packs. They're being plucked off here and there. Larry Zarling's coming up next. What do we got? Jose Ramirez is in there. Bernard bought one. Thanks, Timmy. Dontre Willis. It's a freaking $4 card. Oh, man. Chrome Black is such a lottery ticket. But, hey, at least the Miami Marlins get their hit. And we're going to be seeing a lot more Chrome Black here in a second. Why is Dontre Willis in a $150 box? I think it's come down a bit because no one's buying it. My case guy said Tops keeps re soliciting for Chrome Black at lower prices. What's worse, 91 Fleer or 2021 Tops? You know what, Ike? I don't know, man. That's a great question. 2021 Tops is pretty bad. Just the design. If we're talking just designs, if we're talking overall product, 2021 is better because of the autographs and relics. But, man, I don't know. It's going to give it a run for its money. Here's Larry Zarling coming up. Box 28. Box 25 and 28. Now, 28 was uh, already previewed, so you'll see those cards. You've already seen those cards. Let's do Jackie Roach first. I opened like four or five boxes and some videos to show them off. So what you can find, so Larry, it'll kind of be new, but not new. There's Aaron Judge rookie card, Michael Harris, Adley Rushman, Mojo, Yvonne Rodriguez, J-Rod right there. Brandon Fought, that's the Golden Mirror Image Variation rookie card right there. George Springer to 400. Luis Robert Lava, Randy Rosarena. Michael Doss says, what did I just pay? How do I get in on a break? Do I have to pay two more times? No, you just have to wait until your break comes up. There's Willie Mays Gilded Collection number to 99. Brian Rocchio to 199. Matt Walner. Jeremy Pena. Very nice. J-Rod times 99 right there. That's a great card. And then last but not least is Harari Encarnacion. Let me check out your payment, Mike, and see exactly what you paid for. And I'll tell you where you're at in just a second. Here's Larry's box. We already opened this one in a preview. So this will kind of look familiar. There's the Corbin Carroll refractor. Lots of Carrolls in there. Fernando Tatis rookie card is in there. Oscar Colas and the Hassan Kim. Randy Rosarena. There's Vladdy. Red Corbin Carroll for the $4.99. Sal Frelick number to 50. Jonathan Aranda, Zach Galanuclus, the Aaron Judge, that's the complete set variation, Ellie De La Cruz Pulse. The, you got it. The Eddie Murray one of one. Very nice right there. So, Larry, that's one of the big chaser cards. Hall of Famer one of one right there. Very, very nice. And we've got a Bernie Williams there as well. Chris says, I sent in for a Jack's pack as well. I see it. Chris sent in for one. So we'll do another Jack Pack intermission, then we'll get into the next round. Next one up is Box 30 for Krish Dasgupta. Mike, I don't see a payment from you. What's the name on your PayPal account? I'll type it in to see exactly what it was. Good luck, Chris. Box number 30. Larry loves it. A one-of-one of Hall of Fame Ready Murray. 88 Donruss is pretty bad. I actually liked 88 Donruss when it came out. I used to buy those boxes a lot. You could get them for 5 bucks back in the day. So I was all about a $5 box of cards. thought that was amazing. Man, this is this one. This one's loaded. Can't even get them out. It's because some of the top loaders are really thick. Oh, you got a freaking Hall of Fame Gilded Collection auto in there sliding out. Did you see that one, Chris? All right, let's get to it. Adley Russian. Michael Harris Sepia is in there. Uh, MJ Melendez. Ronald Acuna Jr. Bryce Harper. 
That's going to be a photo variation. Carlos Delgado to 400. We've got Bobby Witt, O'Neill Cruz. Timmy says Bernard. Yep, I got his box right here. I haven't put his name on it yet, but we'll do that one too. Anthony Volpe out of 99. There's the Andre Dawson. Gilded Collection Auto of the Hall of Famer to 99. Oscar Gonzalez and Nick Lodolo in your pack, Chris. Congrats on the Andre Dawson. And we got Bernard May, and then we'll get into Chrome Black. Bernard May's up next. Your box is 31. Good luck, Bernard. People like the Jack's packs. So, Jack Collin, if you're watching, you did a good job with these. Let's see what we have in this next one. There's only six boxes left before the Jack packs are all gone forever. This one doesn't seem to have as many cards. Mike O'Donnell says, help me. I'd love to help you. What's the name that comes on your account? If you let me know. I can tell you what break you're in and all that stuff. If I type in O'Donnell on PayPal, it gives me nothing. So absolutely nothing right there. That's why I'm asking for what name so I can track it down for you. Luis Robert, rookie card. Volpe, Kyle Schwarber. Randy Rosarena, purple. It's number to 25. William Contreras, purple to 99. Aaron Judge. That's a nice one from Cosmic to 99. Nick Lodolo. Randy Rosarena with the smiley face. Rookie auto right there. Nice. Randy, rookie auto, Nick Lodolo. Number to 99. We've got Mookie Betts. That might be a gold mirror image. No, it's a complete set. And look at that. There it is. It is a Volpe right there. Anthony Volpe rookie card. Very, very nice. Jose Abreu and Bernard. We're doing your box right now, man. You got the Volpe radiating rookies. Jose Abreu and a Manny Ramirez right there. They braves the 25. That's a great card right there. Case hit. Mike, you got a membership. Yep, so that gives you access to members only time. Bernard, thank you very much. And our breaks. If you want to get into the breaks, we sell all those on our Patreon page. If you'd like to check it out. All right, so... Let's go ahead and uh, do the next round here. It's CB4, Chrome Black 4, a whole case of Chrome Black coming up. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. First, we'll get you your teams, and the Colorado Rockies are still available. Let me double check. So for Chrome Black, yeah, we've got the... Here's what we have left. We've got the Rockies still open. I'm going to run them right now because I, I really want to do this one. Colorado Rockies are still available. Tampa Bay is still available. And Washington slash the Expos are still available. Those three teams, if anybody wants them, you can have them. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with them. Let's go ahead and do it now. Um, we don't have to randomize the teams, but I'll go ahead and read them off for you in the Chrome Black round. So if you want to grab one of those teams, you can send in for it. Justin has Arizona. Dennis has Atlanta. Troy Fowler has the Baltimore Orioles. Matt Durfee has Boston. Chris Randall has the, what, the Cubs. Justin has the Reds. Michael Gunter has the Cleveland Guardians. Colorado's open. Keith Kidry says, I'll take Washington. All right, man. You can send over. I'll get your name on it. Justin Waltrip has the White Sox. Jeff Coulter has the Detroit Tigers. Um, Matt says, did I become a member? Nope. You may be on Patreon, but not as a channel member. Jackie Roach has Houston and Kansas City. Brett Marshall has the Angels. Matt with the Dodgers. Cars Russ has Miami. Jackie Roach with the Milwaukee Brewers. Lori Grant with the Minnesota Twins. Dennis O has the Mets. Tampa Bay, Larry Zarling. All right. Larry Zarling grabbed it first. Nick, you can have Colorado. So we got it. Larry Zarling has them. Keith Gidry is going to go ahead and take the Washington Nationals. And Nick, you have the Colorado Rockies. So... Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and put a little asterisk next to your name just to reserve it for you. we got Dennis with the Mets, Mizzy with the Yanks, Jackie with the Oakland A's, Vincent has the Phillies, along with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Brody Williams has the San Diego Padres. Let's zoom in and scroll down. Ian Cooper has the Seattle Mariners. Shannon Stratton has San Francisco. Chris has St. Louis. Larry Zarling with Tampa Bay. Austin has Texas. John has Toronto. And Keith has Washington. We're all sold out. Chrome Black 4 is all sold out now. Coming up next after this, the breaks that are next closest to going, we have Heritage High Number, two rounds of that. Um, HH3 is sold out. That'll go first. I don't know if HH1 will sell. And uh, Bowman Chrome Megas has about six spots left. So I think HH1 has six spots left too. Let me grab a brand new sealed case of Chrome Black and let's do it. The trash can is completely overflowing. So let me check the trash can real quick. Because otherwise, I mean, I just cleaned up in here, and there's going to be trash all over the floor again. I'm sure that my trash, when I put my trash out this week, it is just going to be overflowing. I have two big receptacles with all the Christmas wrapping paper and packaging, plus all the break stuff. 
Garbage man's gonna have his hands full. Man, what this thing weighs like 50 pounds. I'm gonna new garbage bag and then we'll break some chrome black. Come back time. Brand new sealed case. Good luck to everybody. Twelve boxes. Let's see what we can do. This one will kind of go quick. We have after we have Bowman Chrome Megas still available, and Heritage High Number is going to run. As, it, HH3 will go as, as well. Um, that's coming up. So stay tuned. Heritage High number three is definitely going because there's only one team that's unsold, which is currently the Rockies. I usually save like the lower end stuff for last if I can. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Chris is hoping for something decent. Oops, almost revealed the autograph. All right. Here's your job, Chris or anybody else. How many of these 12 boxes have a positive return on investment? What do you think? Is it one? Is it zero? Is it two? Let's let's play that game right now at the end of the, the, the case in like 15 minutes here because it's a quick round. Let's see how many boxes have a positive. Remember, these boxes, they were 160 a piece. They are now down to like one. Well, let me check because we need to know what, what number we're looking out for here. Blowout cards, which pretty much is what I use as my price guide for boxes. Chrome black. 140, $140 a box. Most people are saying one or two. Astoria Ruiz numbered to 150. The autograph is Bailey Fault. <laughs> Bailey Falter, what? Okay, rookie auto, it's worth like $2. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. I wish you could get better hits out of this product. What a, okay, it's only one box. It's only one box. Let's think positive. Definitely that would be a negative box. That one goes to Vincent Smith, though. So Vince gets that one. Even the good boxes are hard to get 140 out of. Here's this next one. It says Raven Lunatic. Yeah. Our best box in the preview was a numbered Travis or uh, Trevor Hoffman. There's Bryce Harper. That's a nice card, number to 50. Another hit there for the Phillies. And the next one, freaking Harar Encarnacion. Another $2 autograph. That one goes to the Miami Marlins, and that one's for cards. Cards are us, but we gotta find some stuff in here. We need some tier one rookies, not the tier three rookies. All right, next one up. This is box number three. We're 0 for 2. And this fun little side game here. Joey Manessis, Byron Buxton, and the next hit is Nelson Velasquez. That one goes to the Cubbies, which is gonna be for, hey, Chris Randall, you got your hit. Congratulations on that one. But we're still up for three. Next one up, box number four. Wrong side of the blade there. Beast says, sorry I cannot make the last live, but late Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for the kind words. The Merry Christmas wishes. Casey Schmidt out of 75. And... Hey, Trevor Hoffman, that's a great card, but you know what? I still think it's a it's a loss for the box. It's not it's not a hundred forty dollar card. It's out of ninety nine. So that's the best card so far. Brody Williams gets the Hall of Famer. Trevor William, we are now zero for four in terms of like getting our money back. I can go ahead and look it up, and somebody somebody wants to comp that one out. What's it go for? You can let us know the exact total. I went out to uh, my kitchen. It's like a I feel like my house is like a show house now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she completely cleaned it from top to bottom. It's like it looked like when I bought it. Here we go with this next one. 20 bucks for Trevor Hoffman? No way. It's out of 99. I thought it'd be a little more. Could I second to 99 and Luis Castillo to 25? So two numbered cards there. And the next hit, it is Kyle Stowers. We are 0 for 5. Timmy T Time says this stuff is total hot garbage. <laughs> These boxes are 140 a piece, yeah. and most of the cards we're getting are maybe equaling $10 in value. 
That's not good. Yeah. Insane. Not. It's like a lottery ticket. Logan says we're 0 for 5. I agree. Here's the next one up. We need to find like an Adley Rushman or a low-numbered big Hall of Famer. Here we go with our next one up. Chris is not looking good. We have C.J. Abrams to 199. Still a fun rip. I just wish there would be better cards. And that's a nice name right there. Byron Buxton, he's a good player. But is it worth $140 for the box? I do not. I would not call that a $140 card. It's number 50. It's a good card, though, from Minnesota. Better than most boxes. Lori Grant, you may have the most valuable card of this break. I think that's six boxes. And I think we're 0 for 6. Here's the next one up. The best auto you could pull. You're looking for like an Adley Rushman autograph, Gunnar Henderson, Anthony Volpe, stuff like that. Patrick says, Byron Buxton, I'd say 40 to 50 bucks. Here's our next one. Hunter Brown is numbered to 150. Bryce Harper's in there as well. And Will Brennan. We need you to like play like sad violin music. <laughs> Sophia plays the violin. Every time we pull a bad hit just like this really, like <laughs> sad song <laughs> here's the next one the next box up i played the violin for a year when i was four yeah. but i quit good. was i good yeah no i was four <laughs> <laughs> i don't even remember anything about it so you were a child prodigy nope my parents tried to get me to play the piano too when i was like 10 and i i broke the line yeah yeah, my grandpap was a great piano player. My dad's a great <laughs> piano player. And then there's just me. There's Jeremy Pena. Riley Green, that's a case hit right there. A rookie card. That's one of the better singles that we've pulled. And next, hey, Hall of Famer Tom Glavin. I mean, I'm happy with that. Tom Glavin out of 50. 300 game winner right there for Atlanta. Dennis O, you may have the best card right now. I don't think it's a $140 card. Might be a sixty to seventy-five dollar card, but still a nice one right there, Tom Glavin. We like we need to have a lot more of that for this product to be worth it, you know. There's only a few boxes left. Chris says, "There we go." Definitely, we'll take that one. So we got two Hall of Famers. Dean says, "Still not there." Yeah. You can comp that card out and see what it goes for on eBay. Museum Collection, we sold out of that break. That was a great break. Museum Collection never lets us down. It's out of 75 on the Brian Reynolds. Biggest ever contract right there. And Caleb Killian, another hit for Chris Randall. So, Chris, you got two hits. Congratulations on that. Not a particularly valuable card, but still, you got to be happy. 65 bucks or 80 bucks on Tom Glavin is what I'm seeing. We have... A couple more boxes left here. Inception was, yeah, Inception way better. About the same price point. Inception was so good. We've got Vinny Pasquantino, number 299. And Spencer Steer. It's a good, good rookie. I'm not going to crap on Spencer Steer, but it's not a $140 card. We've got two more left here coming up and then we've got what do we got coming up next heritage high number round three coming up let's see if we can find out go grab a brand new sealed case for my mountain of heritage high number process hall of fame auto should be worth more than prospects worth hundreds i agree corbin carroll rookie cards in there as well and next Corey lee number to 150 for the houston astros so a lot of just tier three rookies in there like that Corey lee Nope, card champs haven't, uh, nope. Next up, last one here. It is Miguel Vargas, Emmanuel Valdez, numbered to 50, and Luis Castillo is the last one there. And the final hit, Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers. All right, so we got three Hall of Famers in this case. Not too bad. I like that. That would have been a better case than the preview video. Unfortunately, it's out of 99. It might be a $40 card or so. And at $140 a box, to not get a single big rookie in this kind of hurts because you're buying a whole case. You want to find at least one Alley Rushman or Gunnar Henderson or Volpe or something like that. Courtney says that's like $300 worth of cards from a whole case. 
yeah, that's like the price of two boxes, which means just uh, not an overall good return with Chrome Black. But some idiot bought like 10 cases of that, <laughs> and that idiot would be me. So I have a whole bunch of it still to, to you know, do something with. We got Heritage High number coming up next. It's a pick your team. All the teams are sold out except for Colorado. So I'm going to go grab a brand new case and we will get this opened up. Yeah, I was like, Chrome Black, that's always so much fun to open up. I like Chrome Black. And then I did the preview video and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. This is Chrome Black this year. Timmy <laughs> says, it's over. Get the women and children out of hiding. Mizzy says, I'll buy Colorado just for giggles. All right, Mizzy, I will go ahead and put your name on them right now. And uh, we will get Chrome or the uh, Heritage High number break going right now. I just have to go grab the case. So here's all the team names. If you want to go ahead and review them, they're all right here. We can read through that. Find your team name. Make sure it's right. It should be right. But um, I'm going to go grab a brand new sealed case of it. So that we can divide that up, half case for HH3, half case for HH1, which means one of you will get a hot box. All right, here we go. Sealed case, heritage high number. 12 boxes in a case. After this, we might get the Bowman Chrome Megas in. Let's go ahead and do it. Good luck to everybody. HH3 coming up next. Alrighty, here we go. Cross up by case off of you, Eric. 50 bucks. Chrome black, man. Oh, I wish. I wish I would sell them to you too. If only I didn't pay like fifteen hundred, a little over fifteen hundred a case. <laughs> Terrible. Colt says, I'm your biggest fan. Can you please say hi? Yeah. Hello, Colton. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great evening. I hope we can find some good hits here as you tune in. We got some good luck for Heritage High number round three. It's going to be, hey, keep keep track of the autos in this. I'm kind of curious. We did this. There's a box cover of Bob Stinson for the Washington Nationals, a.k.a. Expos. We did this in uh, the box wars on Saturday, and they were pretty good. Lots of autos out of this. There's more autos than relics, actually, which I was like, wow. That's actually pretty good for like a $60 box or whatever it is. People should maybe be buying more of this. There's a lot of packs to open. Beasts, have you seen the 2024 Dodgers? Yeah, they're looking pretty freaking good. He says $1,500 a case. Did they kiss you first, at least? No. I didn't even get that. Let's see what we have. This is from a brand new case. Yep, I have a couple half cases here. I can't remember which was which, so I just figured we'll make sure that someone gets a hot box. Hey, look at that. Brian Reynolds, I told you. There's a lot of autos in here. Keep track. There might be more autos than relics in this. And if that's the case, hey... Go buy a hobby box for 60 bucks. Have a good shot at an autograph. Brian Reynolds, one auto. Pittsburgh Pirates. Get on the board. Who grabbed the Pirates? Dan Schultz gets them. Uh, the rest of it's just going to be all base. There will be one Chrome card in here, so we'll go through a little quickly. There's the, the uh, Judge card. Good old Judge. Chris says, I'm hoping for one more auto. Come 
Colton says, can you say, uh, can you please say Julio? Sure, why not? Julio? There's a mini, Joey Weimer. Those are tough to find. So get that sleeved up. Really tough to find those minis. Just looking now for the chrome card in here. We already got the autograph. Let's see if there's anything else flipped upside down. Yeah, nice Brian Reynolds. Biggest ever contract in Pirates history. $100 million extension. The Weimer, by the way, is also numbered out of 100, just so you know. Leo says, here I am. Hey, Julio. All right, the Chrome card will be coming at the end of this stack here. Here it is. It's going to be Devin Williams. It will be number two nine ninety nine. So that's not too bad. Two numbered cards plus an autograph in that first box. And the two numbered cards both end up going to the Milwaukee Brewers. So the Brewers and the Pirates were the big winners of box number one of six. We'll move on to box number two. So we got here each high number. No way! EJ's in the house! Get out of here! Hey, EJ! That's my son! EJ? Man, EJ got a phone for Christmas. What's up, man? Why are you still awake, EJ? EJ is 10 years old, and he is the coolest little guy around. Here we go with this next one. I can't believe you're in here, EJ. That's amazing. Yep. <laughs> this is Avatar. It's me and him at the Pirates game. That's Eric Jr., yep. EJ, Eric Jr. EJ, what are you still doing up? <laughs> Here we go with this next one. That is the first time he is... He says bedtime. <laughs> yeah, you're up late. You're definitely up late. Bedtime at Dad's house is always 8 o'clock, 8.30, but... You'll be... You'll be wanting to sleep in tomorrow. Good night, EJ. I love you. I love you, man. Can't wait to see you on Thursday. Thanks for stopping by and saying good night. Best son ever, EJ. We got Jordan Romano right there, which is numbered out of 374. <laughs> Little mathematician. Bye, EJ. I love you. Good night. Is EJ the Tatis Collector? Nope. The Tatis Collector was Heather's son, Timmy. And uh, Heather and I haven't been together for some months now. It's been a long time, so... EJ doesn't collect cards. i got to try to get him into cards. <laughs> he ate early bedtime. Yeah. I usually like to have them get their showers and everything by... Eight. They're kind of like me. When I was a kid, I used to like to sleep like 12 hours. They need their sleep. There's the next one, Paul Goldschmidt. So there's it. The score is now one to one. One auto to one relic. EJ does like Super Mario, yep. He's a big Super Mario and Roblox fan. He plays a lot of a lot of Roblox. He does he has played sports in the past. He has played soccer, basketball, but with and also uh, softball. Raven Lunatic says my kids go to bed at 8 p.m. also. All right, let's conclude box number two. I think we got the Chrome card already. It was Jordan Romano. Timmy says, I don't think I get 12 hours in three days. I've, I'm kind of in that same boat. I usually get about five hours maybe a night. I don't know how I do it. Just used to it, I guess. I, I kind of feel like the older you get, maybe the less sleep you need. I don't know. But I, I could definitely go for a nice round of 10 hours or so. 
I would not mind sleeping in tomorrow until I don't really have much to do tomorrow. I'm kind of off. The kids are with their mom tonight, so I don't. Uh, we're gonna go out and do something tomorrow, but I'm not exactly sure what. Yet. I've got a couple ideas. You had two diapers in a time. Oh man, it, it was it was actually in 2019. It was three diapers at a time. We're doing three diapers at a time in 2019. It, man, that was rough. But yeah, no more diapers anymore. It's great. <laughs> Chris says, I'm so tired. I'm surprised I'm still awake. Do you have work tomorrow, man? One nice thing about this week is I don't have to get up and go to work tomorrow. Sleep in. Chris says, I got two autos in Chrome Black. Yeah, you did great in the Chrome Black round. Oh, he says, I work nights trying to get sleep during the day is rough. I don't know if I could do it. I always need complete pitch blackness to go to sleep. I used to go to Fort in college because my roommate would stay up to like 4 a.m. on AOO Instant Messenger chatting with people all over the country or whatever. And his computer was set to 1,000 brightness level. I hated it. So I built a fort, a big blanket. It was like a, it was a bunk bed. We were in a triple, but only two of us were there. So the top bunk was vacant. And I just made a big fort out of it. Big blanket hanging down. And also I developed the habit in college of sleeping with a pillow over my head for my eyes so I wouldn't have to like see his bright light from his computer who got you into collecting baseball cards my friend Nick Y I guess was in the cards his mom bought me a pack of 89 tops for 50 cents because he got one so she's like I can't just leave this other kid out there without a pack and I pulled the uh, any Vance like there was the hot card in this area there's the O'Neill Cruz speaking of pirates so the score now is two relics to one auto Chris, you do the pillow trick, put it like over your eyes, but not over your mouth or nose so you can still breathe. Yeah, I like that. That's the way to go. We know there's nothing else in this box unless there's a Chrome card, which will, I mean, we'll see that immediately. How do you purchase the box? We're not selling by the box right now. This is a team break, so just opening the boxes and we send off all the cards. This one's going to take me a while to sort. Lots of cards today. This is box number three of this round. Finish this one up. The shower is right above me, by the way, so if you're wondering what that sound is, no, the toilet did not finally blow its final gasket. <laughs> that toilet always comes on and runs for like a few seconds every night, every like hour. So most of you are probably used to the sound of that, but that's a shower going up there if you're wondering what that sound is. It's not at your house, it's at mine. See what else we've got coming up in this next one. There's a Chrome Alex Cobb, number to 9.99. Did I give EJ one of my Chrome cards? I didn't give anybody one yet, but I will. I'm gonna let everybody pick which one they want. Yeah, I think I got like ten of them. So I, I want to try this sign, like see if I can sign it first. But I gotta try the baby powder trick. I didn't get a chance. We went to Walmart today. I forgot to get baby powder. Ross says, can I take one? I might see if I can order some more so that I can get one for anyone that wants one. First two boxes, or first box had an auto, next two had relics. Next one up. Yeah, I'd love to, like, that was my plan is to get, like, a bunch made. The custom cards from Top's website, but it's been down, like, all year. So, I was going to get a bunch made for Christmas and drop, uh, like, a sign on everyone's Patreon pack. But maybe next year when they finally get that up and running, if they ever do. Nothing yet in this next one. Look 
looking for the hit. Still haven't found the autograph or relic yet. Hey, here we go. There's going to be a Willy Montanez. So very nice. Willy Montanez right there. Second auto. Two autos. To two relics. It's just going to be all base cards the rest of the way. And this base, base heavy product. How many spots left in H1? I think there's like six or seven or something like that. So I don't know if that one will go tonight or not. We'll see, though. Finish this next one up. I might need another box. There's so many... Going through so many cards tonight. I need another 5,000-count box. Card 100 of Aaron Judge. It's always flipped upside down because it's not part of the original set here. They just inserted it since it was missing from the original set. There's the TJ Friedel number to 999, 620 on that one. No hot box yet. It says you should have taken Pitt and Philly in this break. It's true, you'd have some hits, huh? Two boxes left in this round. Does the auto of that card say how many homers Willie had? Let me check it out. Home runs, 54. Had 30 in 1971, but I think it only goes to 74. I don't think it gives you his entire MLB career. Let's see what we can find in this box number five here. Get logged back into PayPal real quickly. There goes my stomach again, man. It's been great. It's been kind of upset since like yesterday. My girlfriend made chocolate cake tonight. I might grab a piece of that. Really good, man. So good. Chicken, beans, potatoes, chocolate cake. Hey, look at this. You asked for a hot box, you got it. There it is. Hot box time for everybody in this round. Love it. Let's see what we've got. Bobby Miller right there. Rookie card is a nice one. Johnny Brito. I wonder why they're all flipped the other way, though. Kyle Higashioka. We've got another one right there. Brian Rocchio for the... Guardians, Trevor Larnock is a nice one. You're looking for Adley Rushman and stuff like that, though. <laughs> Actually, says, just as I question, hey, I grabbed a brand new case to make sure that we find a hot box. And there it is. I got to grab a whole new box now because, man, this second box, we're breaking so many cards tonight. Man, this is going to take forever to sort all these ones. That's okay, though. Let me see if I have room for Do I have another box in here. I'm going to go grab another box, put these in, I'll be right back, we'll finish off this hot box. Let's see if we can find another autograph. Ah, oh, got it. Continue on with the hot box. Two to two, autos to relics. So this is box number five here. Patrick says, Chris, you gotta find a Samberg. Man, Chris missed out on the Samberg from the museum collection. That was a beautiful booklet. Ryan Sandberg Bat Relic booklet. That was fantastic. All right, let's see what we have in this next one. Shane McClanahan Hot Box Purple Parallel for the Rays. Kyle Isbell for the Royals. Anthony Rendon. 
for the Angels. And there's the hit. Nestor Cortez. Three relics to two autos. New York Yankees get their hit. Joey Weimer, who's everywhere nowadays. Brent Rooker. Our old Chapman Purple. Matsutaka Yoshida. There's Grayson Rodriguez rookie card. That's a good one. That's probably the best hot box purple parallel that we've found so far. I always like to find the rookies. Purple is cool, says Victoria. Yeah, it's pretty good. Three relics, two autos. Even if it's 50-50, that's, that's a big win. Because a lot of times with hobby products, with their, their base heavy like this, it'll be like 75% relics, 25% autos. You might pull three autos from a case of 12. All right, we got Matt Mervis. That's going to be a, a chrome numbered card, number two, 374 right there. And that's pretty nice. Yuri Perez there as well. Got the black, limited to 50. Jared Kelnick right there. Chris says, well, I like it. Jose Barrios. And Nathan Voldy's the last one there. One more box left for these folks in this round. Box number six. Zach Wheeler. Patrick says IPC Lincecum. That's a good one. Lincecum. Nice player. Flamed out early, though. Kind of like in the camp of like... Andrew Jones and other guys that were great, but then just lost it. Dale Murphy was kind of like that, too. He kind of lost his mojo in his 30s. I don't think Lincecum... I think he's... Uh, is he it? How long has he been? Anthony Rendon's the last hit. I don't think he, he was... Uh, did he already appear on the Hall of Fame ballot and just fell off, like, unceremoniously? Let's see. Tim Lincecum, when was his last year? Like, right now, we're looking at guys that retired in 2018. Tim Lincecum's final year was... twenty. Yeah, he's he's nowhere near a Hall of Famer. 2016. His wins above replacement is only 19 for his career. That's... Man, he really fell off. He was good for just that little bit. Four-time All-Star consecutive years. 08 to 11. Great pitcher. And then just lost it at age 28. 518 ERA. Long odds on that. Anthony Rendon being game use, says Keith. That's a good comment there. Yeah, Rendon's always hurt. It says game use memorabilia. Maybe he sat on the bench with it on the injured list. Rendon, what a waste of money that was, huh? Maybe it was used in spring training. Remember Anthony Rendon gripping up that fan and being like, you call me a B? Because someone swore at him or something. He was good with the Nationals, but signed that big contract and just has not uh, been able to perform or stay on the field. Unfortunately. Trey Turner is upside down. Photo variation right there. Austin says, after this round, can I get that refund? Yes, you can. Now the 274 one, then I'm going to do it right now for you, man. I, I meant to do that. But running around, what am I refunding you exactly, Austin? Is it, let me see, I think I wrote down your credit. Let's see, Austin, yep, it was for the museum collection. Here it comes, refund this payment. Yeah, Jack grabbed all those up. Is she refund? She'll be back in your account now. 
Next live stream, by the way, will be Thursday for our next auction. Nothing tomorrow. And then after that, we'll be live again on Saturday with our auction that we're moving up today because we're not going to go live on New Year's Eve because we got stuff to do. I'm sure most of you might have plans. So we'll do a double feature again. We'll do we'll do the Patreon only box. We'll do the auction first, then move over to Patreon and do the box wars. Worked out last Saturday on the twenty third. Did the double feature. Oh, that rounds in the books. Where'd you find that at? In the closet. I don't even remember that. You're very nice. <laughs> Some Jabs Family merch. Jabs Family merch. It's a nice shirt. <laughs> Did a good shower? Yeah. Could hear you just like right up above the screen. <laughs> so HH3 is in the books. And we're moving on to the next round. I think there's I don't think there's any other sold out rounds, actually. Let's check on the Bowman Chromegas. Bowman Chromegas aren't sold out. There's six spots left. So that one might actually be it. If anybody wants a Jack's pack, we can do that. But it um, looks like we are not quite done with the Bowman Chrome Megas, which have six spots left. The, the mix rounds are not quite close. So I think that might be it for tonight, folks. Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. It's midnight anyway, so it's probably late for a lot of you guys. For those 276 people still here, I really appreciate you watching. We'll be back live on Thursday night for our Thursday night auction, and we'll wrap up these Bowman Chrome rounds. There's six spots left. Once those sell, we'll do that round. Vince says, what's left? And Courtney says, go enjoy your night. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll finish those up and get try to get those last six rounds sold out. I hope you guys all enjoy your night as well. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm going to go have a piece of chocolate cake. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.